How's everyone doing today? Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, I appreciate you all for being here, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a fun night. We're going to try to take our Timberborn colony that we were building in the previous stream and triple the size. So I'm a little bit nervous, uh, but hopefully it goes okay. There's one thing I want to do before we get started, though. I have Elgato Prompter, and it says that uh, the channel City Planner Plays is not found. <laughs> so... I'm a little concerned about that. So give me one second. I can't see chat, so that's a problem. And here we go. Fingers crossed. Not found. <laughs> I guess it is what it is. One more, one more second, one more second. Very bizarre, very bizarre. Normally I can see you guys right here. Now it's little tiny. I'm not real. That's right. I'm, I'm no longer real. <laughs> Beast Wigglehausen, thank you so much. If I'm looking down, that's why I just, I can't see it. Actually, actually, let me see. I might have a solution. It's a bad one. Oh, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just throw my, my chat up there and I guess it'll be hard for me to see, but that'll be fine. All right. So like I mentioned, we are going to be playing some Timberborn tonight. Very excited about that. Afterwards, I, I checked out the uh, the chair simulators, and we might give those a try as well. And then we'll play a little bit of uh, GeoGuessr. I also want to show you a couple of things that uh, that I got in the mail recently that are pretty cool. Uh, but first, we obviously I want to see where you guys are from. So YouTube, start queuing it up on Twitch. Where's everyone? Uh, oh, mic volume needs to be come up some. Hold on. I bet you it's not mic volume. I bet you that. I bet you that's actually this. Is that better? Good now? Good now? All right. I see Iowa, Indiana, California, San Jose, Austin, Texas, Portage, Wisconsin, Australia, Austin, Cleveland, Central New York, Jamaica, Van uh, Victoria, British Columbia, Lithuania, Norway, Vancouver, Germany, Hattiesburg, Mississippi, Australia, Maui, Panama, Perth, Australia, Denver, Colorado, Walnut Creek, California, Alabama, Vermont, Jacksonville, Florida, Bangkok, Quebec, Canada, Southern Maryland, Saskatchewan, Tempe, Vermont, Japan. Wow, thank you for being here. Uh, Susanville, San Gabriel, California, uh, North Carolina, London, Canada, Joplin, Missouri, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., uh, Oakland, California. This Google housing, love it. Uh, and uh, Phoenix was just in your neck of the woods. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And over on YouTube... Let's see where everyone is from. I see Germany, Maine, Orange, Brazil, Detroit, Castle Rock, Colorado, Normal, Illinois, Alabama, Tennessee, Gold Coast, Coast Australia, Germany, New Zealand, Illinois, India, Mankato, Minnesota, New York City, Jamaica, Toronto, Pittsburgh, Dallas, Van Vancouver, Brazil, Cambridge, Wisconsin, another, uh, another close by community, Rhode Island, Castle Rock, Colorado, New uh, England, uh, Southeast England, Mars, Charlotte, Tokyo, India, Southern Illinois. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, so the reason I said I wanted to ask or do a little bit of show and tell is I got something in the mail from one of you guys, but I don't know who did it. And I want to know if you guys are on stream tonight. If you are, someone sent me this and I'm really excited about that. I am going to read this and I want to appreciate, I, I want to thank you. Whoever sent this to me, there was no note. Uh, really appreciate it. Can't wait to take a look at it. Here, I'll, I'll move it over. Confessions. This is Confessions of a uh, Recovering Engineer. It's from Strong Town. So it's going to be a very good book. Very much looking forward to it. Uh, the other thing that I just got is uh, going to be the subject of a video soon. The original inbox sim city and i can't see it of course because it's you know my, my windows all screwed up but very excited about this and the really fun thing about this is that uh it actually comes with the book so i'm super excited about this uh this is something that i had when i was a kid that uh, i just happened to go on ebay and i saw it for 30 bucks and i thought you know what if i'm going to feature this on a stream or on a video I've got to buy the original and uh, show it off. So it's going to be really fun. So that's going to be a video that's coming up soon, along with a video about High Rise City, which a number of people have, have recommended that I check out. The, uh, <laughs> floppy disks. I've got an old yellowed, yellowed SNES cartridge. 
This is the, the very first uh, version of SimCity that I had that worked. I had SimCity 2000, but it was like an old green screen laptop that was just terrible. So this is the this is this one. I don't know how many hours I put into this game. Some ridiculous number. So yeah, it's great. When is the SNES stream? So I've thought a lot about that. So I have one of these. Uh, so I have one of the SNES minis. I don't I don't actually have an SNES anymore, but I wanted to not feel bad. <laughs> If I were to find other ways to play the game, uh, yeah, excellent write-off. <laughs> uh, but I could load it onto the SNES Mini and play with the original SNES controller on stream. So it could be a lot of fun. Uh, either way, we're gonna have some fun with it, either in a video or a stream or maybe both. Um, did I see SimCity 3000 is on Steam? Yeah, we we actually someone mentioned it in the last stream, and I picked it up on stream for two bucks. Uh, so really excited about that. There's gonna be a video about that at some point as well. The next video though, after the Magnolia County that's coming out tomorrow morning, is gonna be High Rise City. There's a, I've, I've been really enjoying it. Um, there's a couple of wonky things going on with it that I'm not sure if it's my computer and my setup, my settings, or the game itself. So I actually reached out to the developers uh, in their Discord, and they immediately got back to me. So um, they're looking into it. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Now I can feel I can, I can play an emulator without feeling bad. Andy, you get it. You get it. <laughs> uh, the other thing, in light of all the weather that I just picked up, that I highly recommend everyone else picks up, get a weather radio. Like, get a weather radio. Uh, this is something that I've been putting off getting forever. Um, and I just want to say, this is the coolest little device that I've ever picked up. It uh, It's solar. So not only... Uh, is it just you know USB powered? But it has a solar panel and a hand crank, and you can check the weather. So when you have bad weather, I think it's something that you should definitely always have. It's also a flashlight and a compass. So yeah, it's something that I, I'm I'm as a geography major and kind of a weather nerd, something that I really think uh, that everyone should get. No, not a Fleet Farm. Fine, I got it on Amazon. I shouldn't have, but I did. <laughs> uh, they always have these these deals in my area at Ace Hardware. I should have went there. Honestly, I go there all the time. Do I think it's unethical to emulate games, particularly if they're not sold new anymore? I think that I I have a pretty laissez-faire approach to, to emulation generally uh, of, of old games. I think that um, legally, though, it's always a gray area. That's the that's the that's the real thing. Um, I I just want to make sure that games can be preserved and not be taken down for legal reasons like i followed the whole switch stuff too and i think it's a super bummer that uh, a switch emulator was taken down that said they also were charging for it and rumor has it that they were telling people how to get uh the roms and the uh and the the, the actual bios files which that makes it not so cool but if they're not sold anymore yeah that's the tough one. the thing is a company could always come back and sell them so but either way for me I, uh, I, I guess I don't personally have a problem with it. You believe all video games are unethical and <laughs> we should throw sand at each other as God intended. Sword soup. I think you're onto something there. <laughs> and the chair says, uh, the chair says it's okay. So that might, might, that means it must be. So <laughs> with all that in mind, uh, I'm going to choose one of two drinks. Uh, you guys can choose for me actually. So we've got a supper club. And we've also got New Glarus. I, I went super local, super boring, and super my favorites. Now the one problem is I moved the stream onto the onto the prompter, and I can't actually do a poll when it's in there. So you know, it's like, hey, Batch, you're in here. Thanks for being here, Batch. All right, we're gonna do a quick poll, which beer, and then we'll get started. Uh, and then I wanted to tell you guys. So I I so I was in Little Simsy's um, stream earlier. And someone mentioned that the the Stardew Valley uh, 1.6 update is on Tuesday, which I forgot all about, and I'm super pumped about it. I'm I'm contemplating having a stream on Tuesday during the day at a reasonable hour. All right, uh, polls going up on Twitch. Uh, so, uh, Simsy's great. Simsy's great. Uh, super super chill vibes. Uh, just always fun. That's that's what I like about Simsy. All that said. Uh, I'm thinking about streaming that as well uh, with probably everyone and their brother. <laughs> so um, stick around for that. Uh, there might be uh, something that goes up on Monday 
letting you guys know all about that. You voted for both owned by cat. <laughs> that is that's an approach. Voting against yourself is definitely something that you can do if you'd like to. You know what? I'm going to this prompter thing is driving me crazy. I'm going to restart it. Uh, R. Johns, thank you so much for being a channel member uh, in Orlando and uh, Crunk, Crunk Jack. Thank you so much for the uh, super chat over on YouTube. Been watching from Beaumont, Texas. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Um, I am going to try not to break things, but still restart Camera Hub. New Glarus won. I appreciate that. <laughs> I really do because I love New Glarus. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, bottoms up, everybody. Woo. On the ground. It works. It works. I can see chat again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, Wyatt, thank you so much. Uh, from England. It's very, very, very late or early for me, depending on how you look at it. So thank you. Uh, let's let's switch on over to the game. And I'll, I'll uh, remind you a little bit about what we've been up to. And here we are. We've got a gigantic colony. We're in the middle of a drought. We've got all this water, though, so nothing matters. And at this point, we're clearing trees in the middle of here we built this gigantic reservoir now the thing is this will allow us to basically take all the bad water and force it to leave and uh, we were basically thinking that we could start a second colony right here and maybe let make it look a little bit nicer maybe we could flatten some land here and do something nice uh so yeah it's this is this is one hell of a dam. We we uh, we did it right. I feel like I feel like this this is the way. <laughs> this took forever. We ended up streaming for anyone who left early uh, because early was we we were doing it till about three a.m. my time. Um, we ended up uh, six and a half hours working on this. So we built this gigantic reservoir. We built uh, a bunch of different floodgates that try to control where the water's going in. Uh, we built this right here so we could pump water out of here. We cleaned this up. We capped this right here. So we are now getting bad water directly from here. In fact, we probably should build some bad water storage capacity up here. And it's basically fresh water everywhere with the exception of right here. Um, so we're going to speed run towards a colony of 3,000. We currently have 1,000, er, we're going to go for 300, and we have one, uh, 108 right now. So it is going to be, uh, it's going to be wild. It's going to be wild. Uh, so this is going to be the last one uh, for a little while on Timberborn. So that is why uh, I want to make sure we reach the 300 that we talked about. Um, before we begin, though, I want to thank a couple of people because uh, there's been a whole bunch of activity that I've missed. So I apologize to all of you. Um, Disgruntled Llama, thank you so much for the tier one. Rival Alex, thank you so much. Fang Glorious, thank you for the biddies. I gotta stay at the top of the list. Thank you so much. Uh, Space Casey, thank you so much. Anonymous Gifter, thank you for the two gifted subs. Ryusaki, thank you so much for the prime. Uh, Zero Day, thank you so much for the, the for the prime sub. Uh, Miss 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 Starplow, thank you so much for the prime. Uh, LJ LJ Stella, thank you so much for the resub. Science Dude, thank you so much for the Prime. Instant Karmara, thank you so much for the Prime. Arbo, thank you so much for the Prime. And JD2K, thank you so much for the Prime. I wanted to call that out before we get started for one other reason. Anyone on YouTube who's a channel member or anyone on Twitch that is a subscriber, anyone that's a patron, go on to the Discord right now. Go to City Hall. Go under Notifications. And we're having a vote for the primaries of governors. Oh, yes. I will switch that over. Thank you so much for the reminder. Um, we are going to have a vote through the 16th at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time for the primaries. And then I'll be posting a post on the community tab on YouTube for the actual governor election. We'll, that, we'll, we'll let that go for a couple of days. Um, so you guys are going to figure out who the governor is. And things are going to change based on that in the way that we build. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Chris, thank you so much. We, uh, we got that. Yeah, Chuckles, do you guys want to know uh, the, the, the where things are at right now? Give me one second. Let me, uh, I'll pop out of the High Rise City Discord. If you guys want to look at that, you can. You can. <laughs> okay. 
So right now, uh, Sheila Johnson is really struggling to keep in the race. Emily Timmons has most of the votes uh, or a solid uh, a plurality of the votes. And Chuckles has 42. So as far as the primaries go, it's looking like if you guys don't vote, uh, <laughs> if, you, if the voting were to end right now, Emily Timmons and Chuckles would be uh, going up in the community tab. So keep an eye on that. And if you have the ability to vote because you are a uh, part of the uh, city hall, be sure to do it. Um, how do you vote? Go onto the Discord and make sure that your Twitch uh, or your YouTube, depending on what is it, what, what, what you're subscribing on, is attached to your profile. And then you'll have access to City Hall. So definitely check it out. And yeah, nonpartisan, although I think you can you can gather uh, information about their their leanings. Although I tried to mix things up. So the candidates, they have a, a variety of leanings. I, I didn't want it to be super transparent. Um, you will get a debate between the whoever whoever um, makes it out of the primaries. So, yes, that is something that was requested. There will be a debate, um, some sort of a town hall. It'll be fun. I'm trying to remember what we're doing here. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a minute. So, um, I'm noticing that we're not getting any water through here. We've got another four and a half days. Where is the water? Just I think right here, maybe. Oh, right here, too. So I'll flood there and hopefully that gets us to keep our water into this area. Um, you heard Jackson eats her pizza with a fork. Heathens. It's heathenous right there. Anyone who, I guess, unless it's Chicago style. Uh, what map is this? This is the lakes map. It's one of the, one of the three default maps. How'd I like your, how'd I like your newspaper? Did you just post that in, in discord? I'm, 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 uh, hold on. I must've missed it. Jeez. Be swinging loud. I see you. <laughs> Julian. Oh my goodness. I, I'm gonna take a look at that. I did not see it yet. <laughs> I'm super excited about that though. I will uh, I will post that so that everyone gets to see it. <laughs> Anytime I get stuff like that, I'm super, super excited. All right. I think where we're gonna start is we are going to clear a bunch of stuff right here. Um because we're going to start building our, our second colony right here. I think we're good on food and water. Basically everything. Uh, we're maxed out on storage and a bunch of stuff. We could build some storage. And we should probably min-max some of that. Um, soon. So yeah. You live in Chicago. Tavern style is real Chicago pizza. You eat deep, deep dish like twice a year. I live not too far from a place that has a Chicago style. And I can't eat it more than like twice a year. And I like it. <laughs> it's just, it's kind of a lot. Uh, happy Pi Day. Yes, Happy Pi Day. Uh, that's that's the one thing about uh, about co content creation. I don't get to experience Pi Day at work anymore. Uh, has anyone ever told you that when you first started your videos before you showed your face, you assumed <laughs> Fred Savage was narrating? <laughs> I'm not Fred Savage, but uh, that, that's, I've never heard that. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> um, uh, Fairy Dad, thank you so much for the for the resub. 90 days. Appreciate you. Uh, also, uh, Julian, I don't think I thanked you for the bits. Thank you so much. Uh, no, thank you, mister. Thank you so much for the tier one. Appreciate you. Uh, Nesto, thank you so much for the tier one as well. Science, dude. Hi, Day. Love it. Um, <laughs> Chuckles thinks hot dogs are sandwiches. I love that. <laughs> so I, I think we're going to clear this. And we have been, I think we have our soil. Yeah. We're actually loaded up. So what we might do, I want to, I want to store more soil. So we're going to store some right here because we're about to do some things. And also, I think we have explosives, if I recall correctly, a whole bunch. 
Yeah, we're we're getting we're getting loaded up and extract. We're good. Okay, no unemployed beavers. It's time to start cooking. We're clearing this out, and I think I'm gonna blow all of this up, flatten it out, and here's where we'll build. It'll be our little uh, city on a hill. It's gonna be beautiful. Tacos are sandwiches. Hard disagree. And hot dogs. I mean, it does sound good. Although I had Chinese tonight, and that was very good too. I had egg foo young, basically the best. <laughs> Are you down to vote for the clown? Vote Chuckles. <laughs> I think there's a lot, lot of people who are not. You never had egg foo young? Uh, it's basically a little egg patty, like an omelet sort of deal. And uh, you throw some gravy on top and have it on rice. And I like to mix it all up, which grosses my wife out. But you know what? It's fine. It, it does the trick. And uh, my oldest likes it too. So that's always helpful. Now I feel like uh, you know, it's, it's defensible. And I'm trying to think, should I just get rid of all of this? I think I'm going to get rid of all of this right here. Ooh. Okay, never mind. It doesn't matter. We're we're we're. I I I got nervous because it stopped being green. But um, got a radio. Good good evening. I think I'm gonna blow this all the way down three levels down and make it flat. And then we're gonna use our residences as part of our uh, as part of our dam. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So we're gonna we're gonna go big. We'll have a a big kaboom. Looking forward to it. And let's see, right here too. Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> this is basically my favorite part of Timberborn. Um, you tend to stick to the classics when going with Chinese. Your buddy will branch out to the weirdest stuff and I stand in amazement. Yeah, my wife is the house special person. So uh, she, she was like, yeah, I just get the house special. I was like, do you know what that is? Nope, no idea. We're doing a mixed use high density right now. That's what this whole place is going to be. It's going to be mixed use high density beaver living with uh, hopefully some recreational amenities so we can uh, get our well being way up because right now we're not in a good spot. <laughs> so we're going to make this fun. He blew up a beaver by mistake. I didn't even know you could do that. General Souls chicken. It's. It, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, that's like a California roll is is not real sushi, but I still like it. How's the bad water? Ooh. Ooh. I've got my phone sitting next to Sim City with my beer in front of that, and I almost tipped my beer over onto my phone and Sim City. That would have been a bad time. Uh, the bad water has been good. Uh, we now have a situation where um, we could basically take the bad water and loop it back around. So we're not concerned about bad water anymore. He detonated the dynamite while, uh, while I was standing in the midst of a minefield. Ooh, the beer tonight is a new Glarus. So just a, a, a nice South Central Wisconsin classic. Um. Looking like the new governor of Superior would be a little more social democratic, potentially. I I I'd like to think of it as just uh, a real pragmatist, a uh, real technocrat, someone who's going to be really guided by uh, data, for better or for worse. So, I have ideas of where this will go, no matter who wins governor, and all of the characters will still exist, even if they don't win. And they will have a role. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, is it hard or normal? The beer? Spotted cow? <laughs> it's a real beer. <laughs> Bull moose party. <laughs> Kicking it old school. Are you, are you also into the wig party? Uh, Joseph on YouTube, thank you so much for uh, two months of being an associate planner. 
And yes, I am going to damn it. All right, all right, here we go. We are good to open things up. I'm going to return these both to two and a half and lower this. I'm starting to realize we could probably use another floodgate right here. Maybe not. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. Uh, oh, am I playing on hard or normal? <laughs> Here you can see you can see the Wisconsin coming out and me enforced. I yeah, I'm playing on normal. Uh, so yeah, I probably I probably should play it hard at some point. The houses aren't watertight. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure that they are, but I'm I could be totally wrong about that. I'm excited to find out. Uh, although we're not going far enough down for that. Unless we were to totally fill this up, I think, well, let's see, actually. So the water's gonna come in, how high, it might. So it should be to right about here. We'll find out soon enough. Um, yeah, I'm not, oh yeah, it's gonna come all the way up there. Well, we'll, we'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to figure that out. I'll say what, you usually take the easy route in games, you need, you need to chill. Yeah, that is, that is, I do want to be chill. I didn't really, modding, you can mod it to have watertight houses. Okay, so I normally place, so I'll take like, so I'll take like the triple lodge and I'll throw it like this. And you're telling me that this will work for a house if I do this, but it won't be watertight to hold back water. Interesting. Okay, well, we're gonna do it anyway because I'm crazy and it's gonna be fun. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. All right, first blast, ready, set, go. Boom. And now we'll get rid of this. And oh, shoot. Oh, wait, no, no, we're gonna be fine. I think. Oh, no, we're gonna. We're going to end up leaking water all over the place because I didn't, I didn't plan effectively <laughs> the irony, uh, but we're still going to go for it. So I think I could just lower this down a little bit. Maybe we'll go to two. Hopefully that won't have the water spilling through this way. Um, maybe don't destroy that hill. Yeah, I think. Well, I want to destroy it. I really do. So we're going to destroy it. But I think I need to let the water out sooner. And I'm trying to figure out that sooner is two or one and a half. And it seems like it might actually be one and a half. We'll see. Got to do the explosions at one time speed. Okay. For the next one, we will. And you know what? We, uh, we have nothing. We finished everything last time because we were good. So we can actually prioritize things again. No, thank you, mister. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, no, thank you, mister. No, thank you, mister. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, you're, you're, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Um, speaking of explosions, you see the SpaceX launch site. Did it work? I don't, I, I, I heard that there was a SpaceX launch site. I'm not sure if it worked or not. That's good. It did work. Very good. I, I mean, even though I don't like Elon Musk, I do root for SpaceX to do well because I think it's an important company. Um, I mean, reasonably, I, I hope that all of his companies do well because uh, they're very important companies, even if he's a, a complete clown and a terrible person. It mostly worked, though there was a rud with both uh, recovery attempts. So they lost the craft, even though it went up. Explosion in Michigan. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, the engineers at SpaceX are brilliant. The people who work at some of these companies are awesome, and they just happen to work for a maniac. 
it's it's fine. I can I can separate the employees from the madman. <laughs> I think you kind of have to with a, with a lot of different things. Uh, what am I doing wrong? There we go. Three steps forward, only one step back. All right. Yeah, totally not into the neural link, but if it helps somebody, great. I just worry about um, I worry about that person that is is in charge of the company <laughs> and what they might want to do with the data that they're figuring that they're finding out. Seems like in the wrong hands, Neuralink could be really bad. What do you think it would be like to work for Chuckles? I think you'd laugh all the time, either at him or with him. One of the two. <laughs> You don't like the management at SpaceX? I mean, I, I guess I don't really know enough to be able to say anything about it. Chuckles is 100% an insane small business owner. <laughs> I mean, the fact, I mean, the, here's the thing that I'm, I'm surprised more people haven't, haven't picked out. He went from having a carnival to just deciding, you know what? We're going to do this green taxi thing. It's going to be awesome. I mean, that's a pretty, pretty big departure. He's a he's an entrepreneur for sure. Would a chuckles led mayoral, mayoral office make for a fun city? So I think Chuckles is a NIMBY at heart. So I would think that it would be very stressful if you're the planner to work for a NIMBY. I mean, I've worked for NIMBY um, for NIMBY counselors, not a NIMBY mayor. Every mayor that I've worked for has been very forward thinking and like into like thinking about the future and Rather than every time you make a decision, you think about the residents that's there, the resident that's there right now. You think about who's going to be there 50 years from now, and your grandchildren, and things like that. I think that Chuckles would not be that mayor. <laughs> I mean, in certain ways he would. I think in certain ways Chuckles would be thinking about. Um, he would be thinking about preserving green space for future generations, but also he's got he's got a bit of a NIMBY streak, and in the in the literature. That was something that I was pointing out, uh, is that he, uh, he he's into both preservation and compact development and pre preservation of green space. So there's a lot of conflicting things right there. You can't be into compact development and into historic preservation. You can try, but it's really hard. Uh, it's it, it causes for really expensive development. We have that problem actually here in Madison where um, we have this desire to have compact development, but at the same time we have a lot of strong desire for historic preservation and oftentimes those voices are at at, at uh at they're they're opposed to one another it's a it's a tough thing nimbyism really bothers you in urban areas it bothers me too um i get it to a certain extent um nimbyism is fear uh and i think that you you you've got to be empathetic to people's fears about um where they live you know, and speak to those fears, but not uh, not directly respond to all their fears because sometimes it's just it's just unreasonable and kind of re un 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 kind of crazy. Um, but I think something that I've always thought about is if you choose to live in an urban environment, you're choosing to live in a place that will change. So, <laughs> which are the NIMBY beavers? Um, uh, we'll, we'll say that Maya's a NIMBY beaver. She's just born, but she's going to become a NIMBY someday. <laughs> uh, what's happening with water on the west side of the map? Uh, it's, we're very efficient. The only thing is we are so far away in some of these areas that the beavers are going hungry and thirsty because of how far away they have to get to work. But yeah, it's, it's filling in. We, oh, I, I forgot to mention we blasted this area out. And we got rid of the uh, bridge here so that the beavers could get wet going through the water, um, which is helpful. And we have, I guess we have all of our water pumps off. And one of the reasons for that is we were holding steady with just a couple of water pumps that we have. Um, so yeah, we're, we're in a good spot with water. The only thing that's not good is right here. What's going on? 
Maybe I'll lower this more over here. Something's up. The water's not leaving at the same rate. Let me see. We've got four floodgates over here and three over here. Are these synchronized? They're all synchronized. I wonder. I'm going to close up one and set them all to 1.5 and see if that does the trick. I don't know. Uh, it's a scary proposition that you don't control the outcome of is generally the, speaking the biggest purchase of your life. You must be talking about your home. Uh, as an architect, you know exactly what I mean. Uh, people are shocked when things change around them in an urban setting and we're like, well, you have to expect that. Exactly. That's also a reason why if you're going to buy a house, if you're going to buy a house and you live in an urban area, don't get super reactive and stop thinking about, uh, Basically, don't think about just what you see around you right now. Don't think that you just want a house. Look at the plan. Look at your city's plan. There is a plan that goes 10, 20 years out in the future, and it will tell you what is anticipated to be built in that area in the future, what kinds of densities you might see, how the roadway network might change, uh, a whole plethora of things. And if you're not looking at that before you buy a house, you really could be surprised. <laughs> by what ends up coming and then you're fighting an uphill battle trying to change plans so um yeah I, I, for me that's something that i think is, is really important all right i think we're gonna blast a bit more as well right here and i didn't slow it down i screwed up i'm sorry vainglorious i will do better for this one i i get in my on my speed kick and the other side of this is i want to start building up so I think I'll make this a kind of a rectangle and we'll figure it out from there. Um, so now we have our terrain blocks, which are really exciting. So we can just do something like this and just start extending things out. And maybe I won't make it totally rectangular, but I will uh, clean it up and make it a little bit more predictable. I will, I will make it a rectangle because I'm a madman and a bad person in that regard. <laughs> I can't help myself. There we go. We will, we'll figure that out right there. Uh, we built a home and then they changed a 20 year plan completely. The park that was supposed to go in next door is now a giant apartment complex. Ooh. I mean, I've, I've seen some of that too. Um, what I've also seen is where someone believes that they have a park. And it's actually an institutional use. Like um, it was reserved for like a hospital and that just never became viable. And then eventually um, what ends up happening is the person who owns the land goes and asks for rezoning. It says, I think multifamily is viable and then they swap it over. So it's tough. Uh, Jordan, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Uh, this is why you live in the rural uh, rural South Minnesota town with 700 acres around me owned by your family. No one to deal with. It's great. Here's the thing. If you want that, if you want that predictability, there are places where you can get that. And you should absolutely go live in a rural environment. I think it makes total sense. Like not everyone. And this is where I think I, I differ from some other folks on urbanism. I don't think that everyone needs to live in an urban environment. If they don't want to. They shouldn't. Um, but if you do live in an urban environment which makes sense for a lot of people. Don't be surprised that it changes around you. <laughs> it's, that's kind of part of the beauty of an urban environment, that it changes, that uh, it's always constantly improving. That's that's one of the things I love about living in an urban area. Are these plans available easily to the public? Yeah, absolutely. Look up comprehensive plan plus your city's name or, uh, uh, or honestly, just your city's name plus plan. At least in the U.S., I will admit that I looked over in the U.K. and finding any plans was damn near impossible. <laughs> it, was, it was honestly pretty impressive. Yeah, there are city plans for your city. Your county has plans for the rural areas. And your state might have long-term plans for highways and uh, regional transportation as well. 
So many jobs don't allow people to live outside of an urban environment. Hopefully remote work helps change that. You know, I really hope that that would be the case. Um, it seems it seems to me like a lot of re remote work is kind of reversing, which I think is really unfortunate. It's so helpful for uh, especially certain segments of the population. Like as a parent, um, when I could remote work, holy cow, it changed my life. Total game changer. It was amazing. So you're looking about you're looking right now. Good luck. If you can find your planning map, that's probably what would be the most beneficial to you. There's no reason to make employees come to the office uh, uh, other than micromanagers wanting to micromanage. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have I have I have I've mostly worked for excellent bosses. All right, we're going to detonate real quick. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff right there. That's good. I like that. Um, I've mostly worked for excellent managers, but that doesn't mean that they weren't, that I, I didn't have some micromanaging managers. And it's just brutal. And when working from home became a thing, like I even had situations where you go into the office for your three days a week or whatever it ends up being. And your boss is just kind of looming over your shoulder, pacing back and forth, just seeing what's up. And at one point, I even had to ask my boss, like, is there something I can help you with? <laughs> and he's just like, I just I just pace sometimes. And it just couldn't I couldn't help but feel uneasy about that. And that's that's part of the, uh, uh, you know, part of the struggle, I think, of being in the office. I felt like I got less done because it was a lot of socializing which I love, don't get me wrong, but if I'm like working on a map <laughs> or like working on a plan document, which is something that like I, I frequently had to do is just like work on very technical plan documents. So if I'm writing a, a plan that I've been working on for a year and someone comes up and, and talks to me, I'm the type of person that will immediately lose my flow and focus and have lots of problems so, I mean, that you guys see it on, on stream that i i have guppy attention span so i need to I need to not be distracted so i struggle with that I, I i felt like i was one of those people who was a real winner of work from home not just because of you know daycare and how much how helpful that was but also just because from an attention span standpoint i was able to do better work at home with the focus of, of being at home. I was also able to start like a pot roast. Like, <laughs> you know, like there are like these intangible things like your dog sitting next to you. And yeah, yeah, Sim Beckle, you get it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so much better. Um, you were legit forcing the old hybrid schedule in office 50% of the time because your manager was lonely. <laughs> yeah, I believe that, I believe that. Uh, one violent imp, uh, you're the same way. Office usually means nothing gets done. That's the funny thing about it. I mean, but I do think devil's advocate to play the other side, um, workplace culture does matter. And I'm not sure that anyone has figured out how to appropriately uh, establish a workplace culture when, uh, or a positive workplace culture when, uh, when you're working remotely. I think it's really hard. I mean, that's like even, even think of, uh, Hold on. I got. I said I can't concentrate. <laughs> Do two things at once. Um, so I, the last job that I got, um, I was the, the very first week. They told me that I could work remotely for part of the week and my boss was gone. And it was just like impossible for me to figure out anything. Um, and then that whole job which I, I mentioned this before. It was, it was, I, I, I took it because it seemed like the job I was working my way towards my entire career. Uh, for that job, I felt like I never truly understood the organizational culture, which is crazy because I worked there before uh, in a different, in a different role, but it had changed so much through the pandemic. And um, it just kind of, 
it's it's hard to get that with work from home. I, like, and I think there is something to be said for that. I, I struggle with that a lot. Uh, ultimately, you don't want to be forced to go in, or I have others forced to come. Yeah, I get that. Talking about comprehensive plans made you realize it's been decades since you last saw one, saw one for your town. Looks like I don't need to bother. Last one was from uh, 2009. It's pretty out of date. I wonder if they're just recertifying their comprehensive plan and just saying that nothing much changed. There are some communities that do that, especially if they don't have planners. Not unheard of. Uh, Kerr Kiwi Bear, your work went fully remote after COVID. Unfortunately, you got, you got long COVID and can't work anymore. I don't think I got it from a coworker, but you don't know for sure. I uh, only really leave the house. You only really leave the house to go to work. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I've heard of people who have had that, or who who have that, and it's just. It sounds like it's one of those things that, as a society, as like people generally, we're not really getting it, and not really uh, doing enough to uh, accommodate for people who have that. Uh, we have a short minute and a half break. On Twitch, uh, so I want to thank a couple of people. Um, and of course, I lost my spot. <laughs> so, Instant Karma, thank you so much for the Prime. Uh, Airball, thank you so much. I got you. JD, I got you as well. Very Dead, uh, I think I got you as well. Julian, yes, I got you in the newspaper. I am way behind. I'm, I'm, I'm way rewinded, I guess. Scruff McGruff, thank you so much for the bits. You found me from City Skylines. People quickly fell in love with you as a streamer. I convinced you to buy Timberborn, and you're loving it. Scruff McGruff, happy to hear it. Uh, thank you for, for sticking with me through other content. I know that it's, uh, you know, if you if you come to know someone for a certain kind of content, sometimes you don't want to watch them for other stuff. Um, one thing that I've been very aware of post City Skylines 2 launch is that I need to diversify and get good at making different types of content uh, if I'm going to do this. And so that's, that's, I've, I've been thinking about that a lot. So I appreciate you sticking with me through that process because it is a process for me. Um, quick replies. Thank you so much for the sub. Easy gaming. Thank you so much for the resub. You made the stream. I appreciate you. Three months, tier one. Appreciate you. Uh, Nick MCH. Thank you so much. Six months at tier one. Thank you so much. Hot tub stream when? <laughs> I don't have a hot tub. Uh, that is on my list, though, for this year. I'd love to get a hot tub. I'll have to... I, I, I don't... I, I get one of those weird inflatable ones. <laughs> uh, Trucking of Wales, thank you so much for the uh, Tier 1. Appreciate you. Uh, looks like the floodgates are only releasing water uh, when a terrain block is built. What? No, we still have it coming out over here. And my hypothesis is that because this is so much closer over here. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh, that's why that's happening. We've been blocking half the water. So we've got a source right here and we're not. Oh, wait, no. No, now we're sucking water out. What is going on? inflatable <laughs> i could get a real one but it's a it's a commitment and i just don't know that i i care that much about hot tubs maybe uh yeah i think glorious variety gaming is so much harder when you switch from exclusively gta to variety growth stopped yeah i actually i actually see it particularly on youtube uh i mean explicitly on youtube <laughs> um i love you guys over there but what I will say is that uh, every time I have one of these streams that's not City Skylines 2, I lose subscribers. And it is what it is. I, 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 I get it. Like I said, if you come for something and you get something else, you decide. You might decide that that's no longer what you want to see. And I, I get it. I empathize. I feel the same way. Um, what are those planner points at the bottom of chat? You can use your planner points for a variety of things. I would highly recommend saving them because I don't have anything decent set up at this point. Um, so right now, the rewards kind of stink. They, we did use the rewards during the... Uh, hold on. 
We did use the rewards during the uh, the crowd control stream, and we'll probably do that again at some point. Um, but yeah, I guess for now, the stuff that's in there right now is not worth it. You get 10,000. <laughs> So yeah, also you could save a million and become my friend on Steam if that's something that you're interested in. Do not do that. It's not worth it. <laughs> Ask anyone who is my friend on Steam. You probably just see me going in and out of City Skylines constantly. City Skylines 2, rather. So if that's what you want to see, if you want to see what I'm doing, you're going to do it. Batch, I... All right. I'll see you there. <laughs> I could just add you for free. I could. You have been following the channel for as long as anyone. Ooh. What if we could use the planning points as a building sponsor, like those university buildings named after? The I like that idea. So one of the things that I want to do, I got to figure out the, the best way to do it is, you know, so we've been building uh, the Mulligan uh mulligan crossing we're gonna bring that back soon um but i would love to go into magnolia county and just kind of do some detailing and fixing up of things on stream and that could be something that we could do with channel points name things that'd be awesome uh keener thanks for being on twitch appreciate you and vic thank you for being here <laughs> Uh, Rusaki, you saw that I was playing high rise on, on, uh, discord. Yeah, it's exactly. So you don't need to be my friend on, on steam to see what I'm doing. You can already see that there's already ways. Uh, yes, I am drinking a spotted cow. Yeah. Magnolia County. I, I'm going to tell you guys something. Um, I think a lot of people, so I, I see the comments that people who are upset that I'm playing city skylines too. Um, I know that there's not a lot of assets in City Skylines 2, and it can get a little bit repetitive. Um, Magnolia County, for me, has been the best series that I've put together, in my opinion. And as a result, I've been having the most fun with it. So it is it is quickly becoming my baby, and I've just really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, I've been having just I've been having a, a blast as a creator making the series so it's uh that was something like even when i went back and i did some clearwater uh county it was like oh man i just i just really i've really enjoyed magnolia county <laughs> um you agree with me thank you uh when manor lords comes out am i going to stream it or make a video i so that's a great question um, no, it's not going to be something I just play my personal time. I'm, I've been looking forward to Manor Lords forever. I miss being able to play the demo. I'm probably going to use Manor Lords as my demo for streaming to a YouTube video. That's going to probably be what I try to do with that one. So we'll see how that works. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Bueno churro. Holy. Hold on. Dude, that that's ridiculous. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That that's wow. Well, there are 50 new votes uh in the city hall. Uh, bueno, Chero, thank you so much. Uh, that's so generous of you. Um, anyone who just got gifted a sub, um, hop on over to discord. Um, well, first of all, you have the chair remote. You have a bunch of new emotes. Um, hop on over to discord, vote in the primaries for governor. Uh, go enjoy the next Magnolia County episode. It'll be, it's up there right now. It's been up there. Um, uh, half the day so yeah um thank you man that's wow <laughs> that's that is insane <laughs> wow <laughs> it 
Okay, it was so many gifted subs that my scroll stopped. That's wow. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, wow. Well, back to blowing up beavers. Um, how did that not start, start a hype? I have no idea. I will be honest and say I don't really fully understand monetization on Twitch, um, but I appreciate it <laughs> for the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> You've just made my wife very happy. <laughs> uh, Gregory Black on YouTube. Thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. You too. Hop on over to the Discord and vote for uh, your candidate. Hype trains are funky. They are. Oh, there's a cooldown. That is interesting. That is, that is, I, I had no idea. Well, Wow, <laughs> that was wild. Uh, thanks again. Um, well, we're going to keep going at this. And you, I think you can kind of see, I'm trying to make it very organized. I was going to do something very organic. We're not doing organic. We're going to make it feel uh, very planned. Uh, hype trains needs a set amount of different people. Oh, there was a hype train right at the beginning. There's been a hype train uh, basically right during the start the intro screen for most of, of these. And I appreciate that. Uh, if I build stuff, check out Drew build stuff on YouTube. He created an out, awesome outdoor hot tub area. I do build stuff. I am bad at building stuff and bad time coming, bad tide coming. Thank you so much for the warning because I would have totally missed that. Um, 1.9 days. We're going to have to stop all of the stuff that we're doing right here. I'm going to try to, okay. I'm going to try to build this bit. I don't know that we have time. I should. Ah. Oh, if we get this, then I could switch this to dirt and we'll put all of our logs right here. And then I can get rid of this one too and consolidate. Uh, Drew build stuff. I am going to. I got to go into my one note. My, uh, my stream one note with my ideas. And let's see. Drew builds stuff. Definitely there. Uh, does awesome stuff. Yeah, we finally get to test this. This is the first test that we've had of this setup with bad water. So I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know if it's actually going to work. Um, and I also don't know how long this is going to be. So the, the, the unfortunate thing, the thing that I don't think. Well, no, it should be fine. I was a little bit worried about where we where the bad water goes afterwards, but I think that we'll be okay. Uh, floodgates on either side of the source that you alternate on the, on the reservoir facing floodgates should solve the black back flow issue. Yeah, I, so we're going to lower this right here. This one shouldn't matter because it's this source doesn't work. <laughs> we killed that source, so it's really this one. And oh man, you know what we really should be doing. We should really have a way to navigate this out of this area just during bad water so we can keep our reservoir clean. That might be a future project. Uh, I think I just proved, proved it when I opened the one earlier. It will work just fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking more blasting. We're probably going to do that once this gets built up a little bit and... We're not, we're not going to get there. Unfortunate, but it, it is what it is. All right. I'm going to synchronize this down and cap these off. And that should get us low enough that we start to clear this. Maybe we'll have to do both sides. Oh, I got one open over here still. Whoops. Okay, clearing up, and I shoot up, uh, uh, pausing it for a minute. Our water flow is all screwed up right now. I screwed something up big time. Um, so I'm not sure if uh, maybe we need another one right here. I'm going to open the, these up and just let a bunch of water out real quick. And then we'll close it up. 
Okay, so we got some water back here. This is five days. And we gotta tell them to stop. We don't need we don't need this that bad. <laughs> Calm down, folks. Calm down. Okay. We're good. <gasps> Get out of there. Uh, I'll just drop this all the way down on both. Actually, we can keep this one up. And all the water will just fly out that way. Yeah, so this is going to work just fine. And in fact, we could even add water pumping over here. Because it seems like this will be clean for a while. In fact, I wonder. No, no. We should just let it fly. We'll let it fly. What is it? Uh, Weissbrot, thank you so much for the raid. How was stream tonight, guys? What did you guys play? Yeah, Badwater just got going. Yeah, we are we are letting it fly. We got a five we got a five day Badwater tide, so we're making it work. Um, we should be fine. Things are like really really chill in this one. Uh, calm. The the answer is always the panic. Yeah. You want to play Assassin's Creed, but Ubisoft was down? Really? That, that's that's frustrating. <laughs> well, thank you for being here. We're uh, we're just we are gonna try to build our colony to 300 beavers. So right now we have a uh, 117. We are building this area up as our second colony. So um, it's a it's a slow go right now, but we're doing all right. It was great. Forza was really good. Forza is a lot of fun. I, I'm I'm not generally a big racing game person, but if I'm going to play a racing game, it's Forza. Um, uh, Alyssa, the cat mom, thank you so much for the uh, tier one. Uh, Peak Sam, thank you so much for the tier one. Gleister, thank you so much for the, uh, the the Prime. Two months. Appreciate you. And Julian, thank you so much for the reset at Tier 1. Appreciate you. You didn't notice he had that button. <laughs> um, need more bots. Oh, my goodness. How did I forget about bots? Okay. All right, guys. We're going to do a little bit of a side quest. And we've got to get bots going. I totally... We haven't done any bots. Um... I think we even stopped our science production. So let's, we'll get that going again. We'll get uh, Aiden and Rowan and, and Sin going there. And what do we need for our beaver bots? And you can tell, oh, here's the bot assembler. For that, we need each of the parts. So this will create, uh, that is the fuel. This is a different parts. So we need three of these, one of these at a minimum. This needs power. So, all right, we'll unlock this. We might not even need science. We've got so much already. Okay. So let's build this. We've got carrots. I believe we got carrots in storage. Maybe we aren't, in, we're not doing carrots anymore. We are doing carrots, but we don't have that many. We're eating them. It's all right. We are going to, in our little manufacturing district, do some of this. Let's see. Three of these. And I'm going to do one right there, one right there, one right there. Oh, that's not going to work. Hold on. One right there. Give me just one second. I'm gonna get these going, and then we'll uh, we'll hang out while it's while we're waiting, because it's gonna take a minute. Um, I'm just wondering the bot assembler. If I put this on top, so let's say I put the bot assembler right on top of the bots part factory, will the power transfer through there? Because that'd be really convenient. So I'd love to do something like this. Yep, it will. Okay. So I'm going to do something like that. And then 
over here. We'll do something like this. So, Vainglorious, I've got to ask you. How much pain are you in watching me do this? Because I think that I am so much less efficient than you at this. <laughs> I feel, I feel, I feel bad. I feel genuinely bad after seeing how nice and organized yours is. And then here I am panicking and throwing stuff around. <laughs> and for that, I, I am sorry. I'm very sorry. Also, how do I make this look good? It's, it's like impossible. Maybe I'll, uh, Not at all, to be honest. You love watching variety approaches. I, I appreciate that. You're a better person than me. <laughs> I think I think if I were in your shoes, I would be going, oh my goodness. What is this, what is this guy doing? He doesn't know anything. <laughs> okay. So we need two steps up. I think I'll just do it over here. Um... Ah, uh, hold on. I'm still I'm still screwing this up. Um, so steps right here. And we'll do something like that. And then... Rotate it around like that. And then in front of this, we need some of our refineries. Now, these don't need fuel. We have lots of potatoes, so we'll probably take some of our potatoes, but considering that's what we what we produce. Or we could do maple, because we're not doing anything with that. Not in a serious way, anyway. And I guess, do we need both kinds? What, what did, I, I can't remember what the beavers run on. I need two refineries. Beavers eat potatoes, they do, when you cook them. Um, wait, not to backseat again, hold on. I'm in the backseating. Uh, ladder mod. I know, I know, DJ. I should have the mods. I don't. Uh, when will Chuckles respond to the allegations of abuse from his carnival? Oh boy. There are, there are many allegations that could come forward. Um, wait, 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 not to backseat, but if you don't pause, but if you don't pause, one of those two big square base things will get to the, oh yeah, the, the power shaft. Now that's super helpful. I will speed that up and pause this one. Thank you. I, I always forget to do that. The other thing I always forget to do is add those things on the, uh, on the, on the, on the different platforms. So helpful, very helpful. Uh, am I going to open the floodgates back up? Yes. I think once this clears out, and I'm wondering if I can just open this up and clear it up both sides. Cause if I open this up here now, I think we'll start to pull the bad water this way. Oh, it's so low. It's so low that it's actually working over here. That's not what we want. Hmm. I think I'll go one and a half. Oh, well, no, no. Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to flush some of this out. It's, it'll be fine. It's, it's not that much. There's definitely a flaw in the design of this, though. Um, bummer. So I think I got 1.5 each of those. Uh, solution to the pollution is a dilution. <laughs> this is the solution. Uh, video just went in and out. You only have audio? I'm still showing it. Is everyone else okay? What chuckles into those gators is no laughing matter. <laughs> um, the bots need to have biofuel. Nice to have catalyst. Okay. So, okay, we should be good. All right. So it's going to take a little while, even though we have this open, it's going to take a little while for things to fill up. So that's what we're waiting for right now. 
Um, did the chair win the mayor, mayor, mayoral race yet? You know, we don't actually have. This is a good point. There's no mayor in Magnolia County right now. And we still have a county, county executive that people haven't been talking about. Which I find to be fascinating. No one is talking about the county executive. Who could that be? Uh, I can separate the reservoir into two. That's that's going to be the game plan. I think what we're going to do is basically I want to. All right. So this is where we got mixed up last time, chat. We started talking about things and then I started building all of the things all at once. But I love to build all of the things all at once. And I'm easily persuaded to do it. So we're going to we're going to do it again. <laughs> and it's going to be a problem again, but I, I, I like it. Uh, let's see. So what we'll do is something like this. Where during bad water, we'll redirect this out this way. And if we do it right... It should work uh, perfectly to get the bad water out without contaminating the rest of it. So there we go. Something like that. And then right here, we're going to need a floodgate. Oh my goodness, guys. I should not be doing this. This is, this is how we ended up having a six and a half hour stream last time. <laughs> I'm here for it though. I'm here for it. Uh, and we'll do a double floodgate and a bunch of levees. No, oh, that's I'm 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 one level down. We need a triple. Actually, do we actually? I don't think I I don't think we actually do. No chair today. You were robbed. So. I mean, I could bring the chair back. I just, I didn't want to be too cliche and boring with the chair, chair nonstop. But if you guys like the chair, <laughs> far be it for me to take it away. Uh, uh, I swore it was a, it was a, it was a 12 hour stream. You almost took your whole work day to watch it. <laughs> I am I am happy to make your your boss proud. <laughs> uh I should build closer to the source so I can spend less on resources. Okay, hold on. You're right. You're very very right. Hold on. We're going to pause it for a moment just so that we can we can we can think this through. So I think I see what you're saying. So if I were to go back to the drawing board and let's say instead of go following this path, we divert it immediately. So we'll add a levy. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we'll add a levy right here. And then um, oh, I'm losing track. I'm losing track. Okay. We'll add a floodgate. And then we'll blast this way. So two down here. Three right here. And one right here. And then, let's see, straight right here. There we go. Okay. That should do the trick. Is that what you mean? That's perfection. The other way that we could have done it is to try to send it off this way. But that seems, that seems, is that genius or is that terrible? 
So I could, we could just divert it this way and send it straight towards this. Oh, that's probably a lot smarter. Dang it, we're going to do it again. <laughs> that would work. This would work really well. This is the one that makes the most sense because we're only building up at that point one levy tall. So, yeah, this is the right way to do it. It's going to be super ugly unless I do a lot of blasting. Or we just try to we try to make it look clean and well planned. We'll do our best. No, we're just going to do this. <laughs> It'll be fine. We're just getting poop water away. We don't need to get fancy with it. When you're, well, I mean, I'm not a waste treatment operator, but I assume that they're not overly concerned about aesthetics. Maybe they are. And it sounded like I said aesthetics there, which is not what I meant to say. Um, respect the topography. You're here for the boom. Well, this boom's not going to exist anymore. Although I could, I'm, ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of. I'm kind of feeling straightening that and making it look nicer now that it's it's many fewer blocks and many fewer explosions what do you guys think i might i might i might pull you guys to see how you feel about that because i think i think i dig it uh let's do it i should keep building one tile away from the edge and adding bad uh add i should keep one tile away from the edge to add bad water blocking thing. Yeah, then I mean, that's kind of... Oh, one additional tile. I see what you're saying. That would look nicer. Um, I'm going to pull you guys. Three wide. Okay. Um, should we blast and make it look pretty? Yes, no. We'll go three wide no matter what. You can buy votes. One one minute. Go for it. Mm. Um. <laughs> of course, I'm not a sanitation engineer. Look what I did to the mouth of the river, Magnolia County. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, three wide. It has to be the same width as the source. That makes a ton of sense. So it's three right there. Whatever we do over there, we have to do over here. So... Regardless, we need a staircase right here. <laughs> I feel like it's a weighted pull. <laughs> I mean, someone is spending points on this because there are currently 298 or 296 people on Twitch, and there are uh, over 400 votes for uh, blasting. <laughs> so, so someone is super into it, and you know what? I'm into it too. So. Uh, unless someone's going to contribute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Lane Gandy. Thank you so much. We're going for it. We're going for it. Uh, we're going to, again, I hope you guys are here to just watch me redo the same thing over and over and over again. Because that's all that we're going to do today. All right. This is the real deal. We've had our practice runs. And what I think we're going to do is run it this way and just blast the entire way through. So this is one, two, three. And should be able to just load this up. Now, I think we're producing a ton of explosives at this point, so we don't need to be overly concerned about those. Wait, the, wait do the barrier first so I know what the limit is. We should be fine. We should be fine. This should be good. Um, I, I do think that we need to blast more out right here. And we are going to need to block that eventually. Um, and then we're going to need potentially down here one more. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. This is just for me to be able to see where I am. No, we're fine over here. So, I'm going to keep that there temporarily. 
So three down, two down, three down. And I wonder, maybe right here we turn and we go three, two, one, and then we come back to our levees. And we round the bend. And just for good measure, because I'm insane. There we go. That is that is our plan right there. This is a... Uh, this is this is gonna be big. We gotta finish up here. I've also gotta build a lot of pads to get up here. Um, this is gonna be a lot of work. This was not part of the game plan tonight, but we're gonna do it anyway. And I blame you guys for however long it takes. <laughs> All right. Uh, you love it, Vainglorious. It's yeah. It's gonna be ridiculous. No bla bla blasting scar smoothing in this game. Exactly. I'm not. This is gonna be beautiful. Some people, uh, some people don't see the beauty in this. Uh, beavers completely mastering the terrain. There's beauty in that. And that's the beauty that we're going for. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna build some steps up right here. And this will be our temporary way to navigate this. Absolutely insane. Whoop, 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 whoop. Don't want that. And. Okay. Run this all the way along there. That one right there. This right here. This right here. And we should have a good start. Oh, shoot. Hold on. So I talked a, a big game about holding off and we'd be able to uh, chat after I, I finished that last project. And here we are again with a gigantic project where I set a bunch of stuff up and now we're going to have to wait for hours <laughs> to get any of this done. But I hope you guys are here for it. All right. Remember, I don't need that top wall. That Oh, shoot. You are right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And what I don't need this either. Okay. You just saved me so much work. <laughs> Thank you. Uh and let's fix this too. All right. Now I feel I feel like my fingers are doing what I want them to do, which is helpful. For a while that was just like can't find anything. All right. Now we're moving again. Um, yeah, we're good. We're good. Yes, excellent catch. Top wall looked good though. It did. We'll have, we'll see. We'll we'll have to we'll have to see what we need to do to decorate this to make it look nicer. Uh, Dragon Low, I'm doing well tonight. How are you doing? I'm gonna Rick James all over the topography's couch. Hell yeah. Ooh, all right, here we go. All right. Another blast in slow motion. Oh, and of course, I was going to hide that. There we go. It's a thing of beauty. And look at that. Nice, smooth cutouts in the wall. The slightly bad water cresting over the edge. We're fine. I'm going to speed this up again because I do want to. We gotta, we, we've got to start building our beavers. Um... We also should probably start pumping water again. We've been uh, neglecting that for quite some time. Look at this. Do you guys believe that? We've already got this thing ready to go. Okay, chassis right there. Limbs right there. Heads right there. And this will be ready before you know it too. Holy cow. That's amazing. Um, wow, awesome. And actually, with that in mind, slow down. Slow down. We don't want beavers doing that. 
EJ, thanks for being here. Need some levees as key walls? <laughs> you know what? I like that idea. We'll, uh, we'll have to do that around here. I, uh, hmm. So how much dirt do we have? Uh, we have more dirt, most likely, than, yeah, than planks. Oh, no, we don't. We'll do something. We're, we're going to, we're going to decorate this. I, I like the idea of kind of having some sort of a, a pedestrian waterfront where maybe we have some seating and we make it look nice. A place where the beavers could either take in the beautiful reservoir or the poop filled reservoir, whatever happens. Although hopefully we won't have to deal with that at some point in time. Uh, Hank, uh, I am, I am doing well, uh, very rainy day, but I like it. I, I, I am disappointed though, that it stopped before bed because I mean, is there anything better than falling asleep to rain? Another dance floor be lovely by the water. I completely agree. Oh, the carousel. We have been generating science again. I believe we still got that going. We do. So let's. We've got all of our big monuments unlocked for our decorations. We've got all those unlocked while being let's unlock these. We've got our dance hall, the carousel. We've got that unlocked. Uh, let's see. I want to see if we can just unlock everything. What is this? The mine 4,000. No big thing. Printing press for books. We got that. The beehives. We got that. And we actually are going to want to start using these. Now that we have our beaver bots, uh, we don't really need the dome cap because we already have a bad water rig and we've already built it. Uh, mechanical fluid pump. We don't have any. We, we, we finally run out of science. There's a former Packers player named Quay Walker uh, whose name you know how to pronounce because I, I think his name is actually pronounced Quay, though. Or is it Key? I think it's Quay. <laughs> Uh, did I use a lot of GIS tools in my career as, as an urban planner? Yeah. In grad school, I decided to specialize in two things. Uh, I decided to learn the creative suite and be the very best out of anyone in my program at the creative suite. And I learned as much as I could about G about GIS. Um, and I did that because I wanted to be able to differentiate myself from the other planners. And that was one way that I could. So I... GIS is invaluable. Um, there's just a, it, I highly recommend it to, to anyone who's interested in, in planning or an adjacent field. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Chuckle Squad, GIS is your thing. It's what you do all day. Uh, do I do a lot of GIS tools uh, for YouTubing? No. And I'll tell you why. I never learned QGIS. My wife did. So she knows QGIS and I'd have to learn it from her. I know uh, Esri and I started learning Arc Pro um, in my in my last job, uh, but I've never learned QGIS and I'm unwilling to pay the ridiculous prices that Esri wants for ArcGIS, especially when I'm not 100% certain. Oh, we're flooding a ton. When I'm not certain that uh, um, Arc Pro is gonna take off anytime soon. Um, turn the science back. So we do have a lot of science. Gonna need a lot of science to unlock jobs for the beaver bots. Oh, yeah, we've we've got this going again. I probably shouldn't have wasted all the spot science, huh? That was probably not my finest choice. GIS is fun for anyone who needs data visualization. Exactly. Yeah, I, I well, I I think it goes beyond fun. GIS is just invaluable. I think it's 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 one of those things that we got to turn this on too, uh, because we're finally out of bad water. Um, you know, that's the thing. I remember with plans when I worked at the at the uh, at the Metropolitan Planning Organization that I worked at. One of the conversations that we had was uh, we looked at the Delaware River MPO, which I think is in uh, the Pennsylvania area, and they had a really small plan and a very detailed map to represent all of their plans. And I, from my perspective, having solid policy that is really easy to understand. 
They did depreciate it last month. Oh man. That's a mess. Um anyway, I, I think that having um having plans basically where you have um solid visuals that people can understand is is, is a lot better than having weighty documents like planners love to do. Yeah, a lot of companies still use ArcMap and a lot of a lot of data is stuck in ArcMap. So we have incapacitated beavers. Let's slow this down for a second and see what is wrong with those beavers. Injured. Injured, injured, tired, injured tired um well we've got plenty of hospital beds yeah they're i mean they're in there they're all full but some of those beavers were not they were just tired so we'll build more over here but i'm not overly overly concerned my bigger concern is all this flooding Uh, let's see. There we'll go two over there. I'm going to do one and a half on this side. And hopefully that gets water flowing in both directions. Um, probably the bot parts kicking off. Those have a high injury rate. Oh, that could be. Yeah, there's a lot going on over here. So I'm gonna come up with some storage for these parts too. Um, and I don't wanna, I don't want that to become a bottleneck. I think we'll probably just throw them right here. Although this is attached, this could become something valuable in the future. So I think instead we'll put it over here. And let's see. Yeah, we'll do we'll do something like this. I think that that'll that'll be good enough. And I don't want to go up with these, so I'm gonna decorate them right away. Um, bots building bots. Will Smith's nightmare. <laughs> All right. Well, this is important. So we're doing this. They're going to build the chassis. They will build the limbs. Again, very important. Got the heads right here. Very important. And for this, very important. You will build the bots. Now, eventually, needs power to operate. Oh, we have another big project that we were supposed to take on. So at the end of the last stream, I said that we were going to blast out this and it had a whole bunch of water wheels. And of course, we don't even have water working over here anymore. Everything's all screwed up. So let's see. Block it off here. This is down. That'll work. We'll get the water flowing and then we really need to get this going too. Oh, this is how it starts, guys. I, I I I find all these different things that need to happen. But now we absolutely need the water to be flowing through here and doing. Okay. Let's go fast. Water coming through here. Um half there, that's down. And now we'll put a whole bunch of power wheels. Or water wheels. Okay. Okay. Um, oh. Uh, once the dirt excavator is done, the battery storage power will be a smart. Yeah. We've only got one right now. And honestly, we could use another one. We've got this. 
I wonder if there's value in blasting underneath it. It's, it was in a smart spot. Now it's in a stupid spot. There's no way to reach it, short of eliminating this and, and giving that a go. It's a, it's a mess. I need fuel and catalyst. Oh, I forgot all about that. We were gonna do that. Um. Okay, that's another thing. And now we're gonna prioritize everything once again. Okay. Oh. I feel like I'm making a mess. We haven't even built a house yet. Thankfully, our population's still going up, but we haven't we haven't built anything yet. Um let's see. Refinery. I think we'll put we need need two. Um this is going to be a waste, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to waste a whole bunch more logs. And I'm going to build platforms to make this work. I, I, I don't know if you guys can tell how conflicted I am right now about a variety of things. I feel very uneasy. Um, I feel like I'm making a lot of bad decisions. Um, pause the wheels in the middle of the river so they get built after the side-by-side -side ones. Yeah. I, I, I don't think it's going to matter because... <laughs> Because <laughs> none of it's going to get built because I have everything going at once. But that is a good point. We do need to do that. Um, one right there. One right here. We'll do a path. We'll have a courtyard. It'll be a lovely place to work. All right. More things. More things that we've built that we can't do anything with. Um, next up, we're going to blast out here. This is fine. <laughs> Use the warehouse to build on instead of... Oh. Okay. Yes. 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 I love that idea. I love that idea so much. So this will be what finishes this off. And then it's just a couple of platforms right here. That is really smart. Thank you. Great idea. Uh, I actually only need biofuel to get started with the bots. Okay. Well, we're going to go. <laughs> we'll get some of this started. And we'll do the biofuel. And what do we have the most of? Let's see. Tail flower, cattail roots, wheat, wheat flower. Where's the spatter? Oh, right here. Cattail crackers. Do we really have any spatter, Doc? I think potatoes is are probably our best bet. Taters make the best fuel. Better question is, what can we store more of? Potatoes. Like we have so much potato storage capacity at this point. It's kind of crazy. The water flow is so bad through here now. I feel like I've just completely destroyed this. Um, I think I'm going to cut it off right there. Yeah, I think I'm going to cut it off right there. And the other thing I'm going to do is get rid of that. And hopefully that keeps this place uh, wet. And I'm going to speed these up. I'm all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Vodka equals biofuel. Yes. I got to increase production of whatever I'm using for biofuel. We have a ton of potato, potato production. Um... But I think we could probably do a little bit more. Uh, where would be a good spot for that? 
honestly probably over here problem is we don't have enough beavers at this point so we've got like all of these competing issues does blasting waterways deeper help with flow it does so that is another thing that we could do like right here we blasted it way way down so that should help us not right here but right here why is there a big chunk of dead potatoes in the field uh, because our water flow is all screwed up right now. And I... I'm wondering. Maybe we'll just drop it way, way down. There's no point to have all this water here if it's killing everything out here. Okay. So now this is all filling in. That's all of our spatter dock. And we'll finally get water going back this way. Good. Okay. Good catch. That should help us. That'll get our potatoes going over here again. Um, yeah. It doesn't help the flow. Okay. For the Bad Water Channel project, make it four wide instead of three. So you can build two water wheels side by side. <laughs> that sounds like a long-term project. We can We can blast a little bit more. I, I fear that we're never going to finish this project because I keep adding other ones. <laughs> 13 days. Yeah. This cycle's been really good to us. Uh, I need to store biofuel too. So let's see. Also, first of all, this was all about the parts. So I will store the different parts and then I'm going to add another storage for potatoes. So there's all of our parts. I will get rid of that. We'll add one more storage up here for potatoes. And then I think I'm I think I'm gonna fully prioritize this. Everything over here. Oh, there it is. We got it approaching. Alright. Biofuel tanks. Oh, bio yeah, we need we need the tanks. Um Well, we've got some space. So it wouldn't be beautiful. Um, but we could just place that right here. Maybe that's, maybe that's the move. Uh, and let's see. I'm going to do two biofuel and one of the catalyst. And for this, do I have this set biofuel? Yes. And I can't set this. I can catalyst. There we go. Um, <laughs> this is how you get a seven hour stream. I only need one bot assembler and a biofuel to start. So we've got that. So they are putting together. Oh, shoot. So do we produce limbs faster? I will admit I've only done the bots once. <laughs> it was a long time ago. So let's see. They have different times. So for chassis 18 hours for one limbs are four and a half for one so okay it kind of balances out 18 for a head very good i'm good i'm good it's gonna back off upgrade storage later to biofuel your welcomes <laughs> i will i will for now though i'm just gonna i'm gonna be calm um okay so now I feel like we just need beavers. We've got food. We've got a lot of other things going on that are, are really good, but we don't have beavers. So this is this is where we start this. Two days to bad time. We're gonna keep an eye on that. We're gonna start building some housing. So we've got these triple lodges. And what I think we're gonna do, we'll place. 
We'll do some smaller apartments in the front. I'm going to leave some separation. Oh, that, that's going to bug me. We'll just leave that. And then in the back... Actually, no, that's not going to work. Um, there we go. Um, oh, that bugs me. Oh, that's terrible. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Uh, bad tide is going to spill over in the new development. It will not. We will. We will block it. I'm not concerned. The bad tides. The bad tides easy to handle. So basically, for the bad tide, what we are going to do is uh, close off all of these and open this one up, and the bad water will just flow backwards. The bigger problem is I don't know how much water and that that's what we should be focusing on right now. So I'm going to close that up and this one that's already closed, close there, open there. We'll close that one is closed. This one is open and right here we've got dams. So I should be able to let a whole bunch of water flow through temporarily and kind of flood things out. And then after that, we'll close it up and reroute things. Is there a second water source? Yeah, it's right here. The problem is we built up our reservoir too tall. So if we lower this, it ends up sucking water out right here. So it's helpful during the bad water tide, but it's it's not. It, it wasn't the greatest choice. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Hmm. Do you guys see the problem? They are about to block this off, and then all of this water will flood this way, and go into our main water supply. So I had to pause that. Oh my goodness. Uh, thank you for, <laughs> thank you for that because that would have been real bad. That would have been yeah, real real bad. Uh, we also need a structure of some sort to get around. All right, let's get this thing closed up. This one opened up. We'll open that one up too. Oh, that one is going to let bad water in. There we go. We're safe. Everything is good. Nothing. To, oh, what is going on there? That's supposed to be closed. Is one not synchronized? It is not. There we go. We're good. Um, what would you do if or when the tide is okay? So it said yes would go. Uh, I mean, I think... As soon as this is so in the future all we'll have to do is adjust this and we can basically leave these alone um for now i think we just we wait until it clears yes live live fill <laughs> this could end up being a 10-hour stream and that would be bad because i didn't record my high-rise city video yet and i'm really looking forward to it honestly um Okay, I think we're safe. I think we're we're finally we're in the clear. And they're not gonna go over here and cause problems and dance around in the bad water. Oh we've got a beat. We've got we've got a bot. We've got one bot. Okay. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm glad I, I, I appreciate you. Um do we use our beavers? Or our bots do we assign our can we do we assign our oh we need to unlock it as a workspace there is what you were talking about vanglorious five grand in science ten grand for the assembler but that seems super valuable um 
Wow, that is some science. We gotta get our power fixed. Oh, there's where everything dies. Well, thankfully this is a short bad water tide. Um, lumber flags are free for bots. Okay. Well, that is one that we could actually do. Timberbot one. There we go. Um, 17 hour Jackson Daxter stream one. <laughs> I have not played Jackson Daxter in a million years. Uh, Speed of Light, you just started playing Timberborn this week. It's addictive. It is. It's super addictive. Watch yourself. Um, Julian, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. 45 minutes ago. I'm so far behind. Um, so Marsar, thank you so much for the, uh, for the two months of Prime. Appreciate you. Uh, Breadlaw, thank you so much for the Prime. Uh, Mar... Marinka, thank you so much for the tier one. Two months. How's it going? Hey, what's going on? Oh, boy. I'm 18 minutes late, so you probably know now. But we are trying to do all of the things. Trying to divert the water. We're supposed to be building housing. We're not doing anything that we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Lucas, hello. Thank you for being here. Hope everything is going well in Brazil. Uh, Chuck Sw Chuckle Squad, you have to watch me play Timberborn. Because if you played, you never finish your research paper. You're right. This is a game that totally dominates your time happily. Uh, Hank Blatt, thank you so much for tier one. Four months. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, four months. Who knows so many on YouTube? Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Uh, but I, I appreciate it. I really appreciate you. Especially another Madisonian. Appreciate that. Okay. Lucas, thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, and for anyone who has become a sub, again, head to City Hall and Discord and vote for in the primaries from there. You just switched over from the Big 12 tournament? Am I a March Madness fan? Uh, I feel like I should be. I, I generally participate in a bracket, if that's what you're asking. ASU ba basketball hurts. See, I went to... I went to Stevens Point for undergrad, which has a proud basketball tradition in D3. <laughs> and I went to Colorado. Um, I don't know. Just never really got into it. I really, I really should have. I just never did. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I, 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 I never... Because I never went to a school where it was a big thing. Like now, I feel I feel bad because like I get asked to go to Badger basketball games, and the most blasphemous thing to say in Madison, and Hank can probably attest to this, is I don't really care about the Badgers. I don't really care. <laughs> I like the school, but I don't really care about the Badgers. I try my best, but I don't care about them. <laughs> Uh, for someone with a grandma level understanding, uh, would someone in chat mind, mind explaining what Discord is? Discord is a chat uh, platform. So if you go to discord.gg, you can download it. And then it's discord.gg slash city planner plays will get you into. And actually, I'll just I'll just make this easy for you. Um, socials. There we go. So if you click on my Discord link, you get in there. And if you are a sub, you end up having the ability to uh, access some special things in there. So, yeah, it's 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 fun. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna keep going up from here, and everyone will have a great view. And we'll hide a bench or something of that nature in that little space. And then I think from here, we'll just go straight with the, the uh, normal lodges. And flip, flip, flip. There we go. Actually, ah. Uh, Hold on, right there. Flip, flip, and then the center one. 
And then we'll need paths through here as well. And platform there. One. Oops. And then we need to find a way up here, which is the thing I always forget to do. And I might do something like this. There. Now we have a way up. A way to access. We'll need to figure out something fun to do in the front. Actually. We'll make this even better. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Uh, actually, no, we're going to make it better. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking a lot about how this will end up looking in the long run as we build up. And that's probably going to be the most space efficient. Uh, fresh water. Fresh water. Oh, fresh water. Oh, fresh water. Gotcha. Fresh water. I should open these up. <laughs> I'm getting too into this. All right. Now the water should... I'm just going to open this up and let it fly. Yeah, we'll just let it go. It's fine. I even will open this one up. And this is at zero. Let's just let it go for a little while. It's a ton easier to, to manage. You like the apartments? Lakefront houses property value must be through the roof. Yes. The one thing we haven't done yet is we haven't mixed uses. So that's that's our next our next thing. We've got to mix in some uh, fun activities. Ground only must be built on the ground. So we haven't really, I don't want the rear to just look like that. So we'll probably mirror this. Maybe we have something like this. this does that require, what is this? Agora. This looks like a shrine of some sort. Maybe I want to see, oh, Fairy Dad, thank you so much for the, uh, for the uh, five gifted subs. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Need shrubs. Yeah, we got to do some landscaping. It is very boring right now, <laughs> but I think, I think we're going to take what B Squigglehausen said and add a key wall to the front for decoration. And then we'll do some, something nice right there as well. So we'll make it a little decorative. We'll have some lights along here. Yeah. It's going to look nice. It's a big, it's reefer madness. <laughs> Okay, so let's, I'm going to mirror this because we're going, we're going ham. And I can't totally mirror it because we have the steps over here, but that's okay. Um, we'll do something like that. And then up here. Oh, I did that backwards. And then I'm going to take a momentary just sip a beer and hang out and chat uh, a moment of time because we've got so many things queued up at this point. I don't know how we'll ever finish. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly feels like we won't. Um, uh, let's see. Can I see through there? Oh, let me get. I mean, oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be that guy. It's gonna be a pain in the neck. Okay, I think I can pull it back. All right, we made it through. Okay, guys, that's what we built so far. <laughs> uh, Timberborn's housing assets are much prettier than City Skylines, too. <laughs> you know, 
it feels like the diversity is 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 on uh on the same level <laughs> um oh my high-rise city looks good um why did my heat pump have to die uh, on the same day the stream uh the steam spring sale started so uh, that, that that is so is that for your house or for your car or what the heat pump and glorious uh so i will say i've had some weird issues with high-rise city some blinking for your house well, it's cool that you have a heat pump i i i wish that we had a heat pump instead of forced air um that's a huge bummer um i've had some weird issues with the game i it, it's it's been a lot of fun though so i'm really hoping that the issues get sorted out because i would love to be able to say super awesome things about this that's that's my 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 goal is to be able to share how much fun i've been having with the game and not talk about how there's been like a trillion small issues but it kind of feels like it could be um one of it, it we, we could end up going down that path so we'll have to see uh this is 400 power so i want to do this here so we'll, we'll have a kind of like a cool hangout spot right here um this would be the ideal spot for a water wheel if we had more flow but the flow just kind of sucks and it's always going to suck so what i think i'm going to do is try to hide two large windmills over here and then we'll just Send these over here. And one more thing that we probably shouldn't be building now. <laughs> but we did it anyway. <laughs> um, God, I've already been looking at this game for two years. Uh, but watching Phil uh, play it once is, is enough to sell you on it. Go figure. Oh, well, hopefully this excellent playthrough... <laughs> uh, is it is it selling you on it? Because I'm screwing a lot of things up. First of all, I talked about the height, and I never fixed that. So now we're a level too high all the way around here. Oh my goodness, I'm screwing everything up. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna take a second to breathe because I am making many mistakes many mistakes but it's gonna be fine part of me wants to just lower this to be three uh, or to be a, a double floodgate and drop a whole level all the way around here because this has not been helpful um but this isn't the time to do it so i think I think we will do that. So I will I will adjust this. But boy oh boy, I am I am getting frustrated with myself. <laughs> and I think if you are if you're contemplating buying this game, know that Timberborn is the game of rebuilding if you don't plan ahead. Uh let's see. Power. And then I'm gonna pause or lower and we don't have a way up there either oh okay hold on i'm good I'm, I'm gonna be done i promise i've told you guys that i've just got to let this run for a while and catch up we will get there this will be a high priority higher priority once we have that if this is paused we should be able to do all everything okay i'm never going to be done just be honest that is the thing about this game. You're just never done and you just keep seeing new projects and you just want to keep going. And then you see stuff like this and it gets you so excited because you're like, look at this. We're actually making progress on things. I should just keep building stuff and keep queuing things up. And that's the trap of Timberborn. That's where they get you. 
um but it's it's also just a ton of fun so <laughs> when everything is, is a priority nothing's a priority exactly and nothing is a priority high higher and highest indeed <laughs> i am really excited to see this though although we get some priority on those trees and honestly i kind of just want to see this so we're we're going for it high priority this is my priority we're going for it i don't care anymore and this too priorities we've got priorities oh and those Th those two <laughs> one more beaver uh we have four beaver bots now and we're not doing anything with them so what should we what should we do we're unpaused we're unpaused <laughs> make them builders aha that's cheap so yes we've got four bots over here that one that was over here you can be a person again there you go sam thank you for your service and cutting down trees collecting chestnuts whatever you're doing and we've got four automated beavers building all of our stuff Unpa oh oh unpause the construction of this is that smart yet i don't think it's smart i think we've got to wait um because let's say we get a bad water tide if i put the bots in factories they build yeah the problem is we need way more science than we have so the bots factory just for that it's five thousand so we're almost there as soon as we have five thousand this will be what we go for first and then it's 10,000 for the, the assembler. And bots can't, and beavers can't make, bots can't make science. That, that's fair. <laughs> um, all right, next project that I want to queue up, <laughs> because that's what we do, is right here. And... We'll send some steps down here, preferably in the right direction. And I want to blast this little row right here. Let's see how many wheels back we can go. Perfect. Um, I'll pause this, pause this. Uh, dynamite, right? Oh. I hate that. I hate that so much. Well, it's got to go. But then I need to rebuild that too. Or or forget about it. It's fine. Okay. It'll be fine. Blast it. The water wheel. We'll touch it later. Yeah, I can put dynamite there. I just, I hate blowing up things that, oh, it will be fine. Okay. Gotcha. So I need to not worry. Okay. And then the last bit is we're going to blast all the way along here too. So that we can get... Because we should be able to get one more length of power wheel. Um, and I'm wondering. High priority for these. <laughs> we get this set up. Um, you're just going to tell me uh, that the power connection is going to be blocked, but not for long. Okay. Yeah, we should be, we should be okay. I think. Yeah. <laughs> everything's, everything's high priority. Um, but look at this. Look at this progress that we're making over here. We've, uh, is that our, that's not a bot. There's our bot. Negative three biofuel out of fuel. Oh, we don't have enough fuel. We've got fuel right here. Do I have to prioritize this by the haul haulers? <laughs> I have enough, but too far away. 
That's frustrating. <laughs> okay. Need to distribute fuel to different parts of the map. Okay, well, it seems like this would be a wise place to put it. So why don't we just have a huge tank over here? And biofuel. High priority. Small ones? Oh, I should use small ones? Okay. I'll bite. That's probably smarter. I'm probably freaking out and going a little hard. So would it just be smart to put one over here? Just because this is where all of our activity is taking place right now. I'm building gas stations, not refineries. Good point. <laughs> why, why do small when you do huge? Okay, I will do a couple of small ones in a couple of key locations. Okay, there is one. Here's going to be another one. Do we actually have extract at this point? No. <laughs> uh, it takes the catalyst. Okay. If we had that, then we could. Um, Ian the Wonder Dog. How are the beavers doing? Uh, so, if I'm being honest... Tonight's been kind of a, uh, that's, that's today's been kind of a mess. So, you know, it's, it's been bad, <laughs> but only because I have no focus. Um, <laughs> I've, uh, so I've queued up a lot of different projects, which is kind of what we did last time. Um, and I did open the second beer because it's going to be, we're going to be doing this for a minute. <laughs> It is uh, 10.23 my time, and I think we're going for a long one again. That is a really annoying high-pitched beep, beep. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the real question, Batch, what are you having tonight? Yeah. <laughs> the never-ending stream last time, we're, we're about to have another one. You even had a stout? Uh, but you're feeling it. I, I, so I, this, this is not, a, th I'm not having any stouts. This is a lager. So I'm having lighter beers tonight. Yeah. I think that, I think that this looks really nice. I think I just, if I could finish a project, that would be a good thing. <laughs> Honestly, though, I am building this. And I don't need to. What I need to do is blow some stuff up. And if I blow that up and this up, then we can reach these. There we go. I need to calm down. I think I've gotten a little hyper. You're having a 2024 bottle of H2O. It's a good year. It is. <laughs> I probably should have a bottle of, of, of H2O with me as well. Maybe at some point. Uh, you're having a wee drab of whiskey. What kind of whiskey? What is Swebby Webby doing tonight? Cheers? Yes. Cheers. Whether you are having a whiskey, beer, or a high quality water. Yes, I will slug. I'm. I'm too old not to have water from before bed if I have a beer. I'm at the age now where if I drink too slowly, I get a hangover while I'm drinking a beer, which is wonderful. <laughs> a whiskey sour. Very nice. Uh, two times IPA. You get IPA two times. That I, I, I like IPAs, the flavor. They just always make me feel like my throat is swelling shut. Uh, Voodoo Ranger Variety Pack. Ooh, that's good. Um, you get a hangover uh, as I'm drinking the drink. Me too, Ian. Same thing. I don't know when that started, but it's basically the worst. It's almost as bad as watching this beaver without fuel slowly walk up the steps 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness we don't have traffic jams. They get, there's no collision. And this guy can just slowly do his thing. Oh, that's brutal. Um, hopefully, we'll get some of these. I should probably put catalysts right next to these. Can I zoom in on a beaver? Yeah, I will. I will. Let me uh, get these catalyst gas stations going, and then we'll do that. Uh, let's see. There we go. Catalyst for this one. And speed this up. High priority. Prioritized by the haulers. High priority. High priority. And there, there we go. Prioritize. All right. All right. Uh, the beavers, are they cute? They are adorable. Uh, so, uh, the best place. Honestly, we should take a look at them at night in the dance hall. I mean, does it get cuter than dancing beavers? And uh, uh, dancing by 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 themselves. <laughs> Uh, it, it, you thought it was when you turned 30? I was fine at 30. I want to say it was 35. Oh, there's an ad break. <laughs> uh, let's see. Dozra, thank you so much for uh, the Prime. Three months, appreciate you. Lentil, thank you so much for the Prime. Very dud. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Uh, all six of them. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Yeah, we have Dancing Beavers. Off the steam you go. <laughs> yeah, the game has a lot. And I want to build more cool stuff. We've got to build... We've got to build this way to... To redirect our feces first. So... More explosions. So we don't forget about this. And that was three down there. And that this this should do it for us. After that tree, we have everything in place to make this thing happen. Detonate, detonate, detonate. I really can't wait to blast this thing out. And honestly, oh man, I really, I really want to build this. I just need a floodgate. So. I'm going to build a quick floodgate. Just a quick one. Right there. High priority. <laughs> um, once you get a little starter settlement going in this game, you don't know what you'll do after that. There's a whole progression tree, and I think that if you just keep going down it and you don't lose track of where you are within it, there's a lot to do. I mean, like, I think the ultimate goal, and I think Vanglorious can speak to this, the ultimate goal is to, to make it so that your beavers don't have to work anymore. So they can just hang out. So someday, maybe we get there. But the big thing, oh, 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 five grand. Okay. Unlock that. And now we got beaver bots working here. And these are our high priority. Ah. Ah. We got the builders over here that are, that are sucking it up. So there we go. That'll do the trick for us. So now we should have beaver bots over here making beavers 24 hours a day with all the biofuel right next to them. Just cranking out beavers. We're going to be great. Um, your ultimate goal is to replace all of your beavers with bots. Be swiggle. We need to be careful about talking about cocktails around Phil. He thinks Wisconsin old fashions are actual old fashions. Julian, you take that back. You take that back right now. Those are real old fashions. And you know what, Julian? I think, you know what? Okay. I think that next week we're going to make old fashions to begin this. 
I've thought about that for a while. We're going to do real old fashions, not whatever. I, why don't you, in the Discord, drop me your recipe? I just want to see what's in it. <laughs> but I'm going to make a real old fashioned. I'm going to actually find my way into a Piggly Wiggly so I can get some jolly good soda so I can really do it Wisconsin style. So we're going to we're going to we're going to really do it. Um with that in mind. Uh I am not sure how old fashions in Stardew Valley is going to mix. It'll be fun. <laughs> That's not an old fashioned to have soda in it. Yes it is. You have to have soda in your old fashioned. The only Piggly Wiggly that I can think of is in, well, they're all in small towns. I think that there's one in Cottage Grove around me and there's one in uh, Cross Plains around me as well. So basically all the small towns will have a Piggly Wiggly. And I grew up like walking distance to Piggly Wiggly. That was my, that was my spot. I would walk to Piggly Wiggly and, and get Sprites and uh, Sprites and Twinkies. That's kind of like what I did as a kid. We want a key as one too. Your first job was at a Piggly Wiggly. My first job was at a grocery store. My second job was at a um, McDonald's, and I am not allowed to work at McDonald's anymore ever again. Uh, it's the only place in America that I am not allowed to work, and it is ridiculous. So you might not believe this. It might be hard to believe this, but I was not the coolest kid in high school. And one of the kids that didn't like me so much came through and said, give me a discount. And I said, I can't do that. And he said, give me a discount. So he leaned over at like the screen at the McDonald's and gave himself the employee discount on a double cheeseburger. And I'm old enough that double cheeseburgers were a buck at McDonald's uh, when I worked there. So he got a 25 cent discount on his double cheeseburger my manager came out and she said i saw it from the camera you gave your friend a discount that is theft i'm gonna call the police and uh i was like actually <laughs> that was a bully and i was afraid of getting beat up at school so uh please no <laughs> don't fire me uh so she said all right well just go home for the night and as i walked out I saw, over 25 cents, yes, 25 cents. And mind you, I'm not 90 years old and 25 cents wasn't a lot of money at that time. I'm talking like 2002. So it's different, but clearly. So yeah, I'm walking out of the McDonald's and I see that a school bus is right there. And that's the little bit of solace that I got is that the manager at 8.30 on like a Wednesday had a whole bus full of teenage girls uh, show up and they were gonna all going to ask for McFlurries, which are super irritating to make and French fries, which there were none made. And she was going to get to, she's going to get to experience being a McDonald's McDonald's employee, not just the person making the schedule for 14 and 15 year olds and 16 year olds. Um, but then she called me back and she said, all right, all right, come back, come back to the store and we'll talk. And so it's it's the next, I don't know, maybe it was like a day or two later. And I go back in there and there's a cop sitting there. The cop is sitting in there and she says, I want your resignation right now or I'm going to tell that police officer what you did. And at that point, I was just like, are you kidding me? Oh, it's 44 cents now adjusting for inflation. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. <laughs> so yeah, so I look and there's the, there's legitimately a police officer sitting right there and I'm just like this is ridiculous so I quit I quit and uh, I went back to the grocery store and uh, I, I also worked at Office Max at the same time so yeah it was it was a mess but I I, I, I was told that I am not rehirable <laughs> so um, that's fine I, I'm not really enthusiastic about working at McDonald's. So thankfully that is uh that is, it's not a life goal of mine to work there again. <laughs> but just the moral of the story is if you happen to work at McDonald's, do not, I repeat, do not 
give the employee discount to a bully or your friends or anyone. <laughs> uh, you rage quit your first job at Domino's after 10 years. 10 years is a long time, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. I see an old fashioned recipe just get randomly dropped in there. You've got to you've got to do something. You've got to you've got to drop that in the discord so I can I can save that. We'll pin that. McDonald's is also a terrible employee experience for you as well, JB. Yes, I am Phil banned from McDonald's City Planner Place. <laughs> no, the uh, the ultimate goal would be to uh, I, I I need to go back there at some point and see if that I the trying to think. I want to say like ten years ago, the manager was still there. Like she still worked at the McDonald's. Um, so I'm curious. I, I, next time I go home, I'll have to check. And I'll be like, I don't need your job. I'm good. <laughs> I should live stream from the McDonald's. <laughs> Confront her. I am the least confrontational person ever. And that was why when she confronted me, I was like, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll just, uh, we'll just, we'll, we'll accept, we'll accept how you feel. <laughs> No, honestly, I, I've, I've given a lot of thought and I think it would really suck to uh, to be in her shoes. Like, think about it. Working with a bunch of really young kids, I think it would be miserable. Um, oh, and I screwed this up. Nice. Um, but think about it. I got my first job there when I was 14 and she had a kid that was a year younger than me. So I can't imagine needing to deal with kids that were my age at that point in time. Like my uh, my biggest concerns were, um, would I get in trouble for listening to parental advisory music? How would I save up enough money to buy a video game? Um, did such and such girl like me or not? And am I gonna be able to afford the Air Jordans so I can play basketball? And of course those aren't, those aren't very good basketball shoes, so you know. That's the thing. <laughs> 13 years old. No, I was 14. So she had a 13 year old son, but I was 14 when I, when I got my first job. So I, yeah, it was brutal. I, 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 it's to the point where I don't know if I would let, I don't know when I would let my kids work. Um, but yeah, 14, you could work until 7 PM, four to 7 PM. So I would go there. Um, we weren't allowed to work on the grill, but we were allowed to work on fries which is arguably more dangerous uh the craziest thing about working at mcdonald's is that they made you uh pay for pop on shift you worked at all kinds of restaurants for 13 years the only time you had to pay for pop so mine didn't so i think that was that was totally whoever the franchise owner was could make those rules mine actually gave us free uh free drinks all shift no matter what they were and we could also um uh, we could also, uh, we had $5 to buy whatever we got. And one of the games that we would play is how far can we go on that $5? Like, what can we get? And can we hit $5? And some breakfast, you get up like a big breakfast and like a breakfast burrito and like an orange juice, a small orange juice, and you could hit five bucks on the dot. Five hash browns in the morning. <laughs> exactly. Was it Wisconsin? They re recently re weakened uh restrictions on child workers no it was it was uh iowa no wisconsin wisconsin basically for the last number of years has had divided government and no new policy has passed <laughs> we don't we don't we don't really do anything right now we've got we've got some policies they have to be any policy that passes has to be everyone has to be in agreement which honestly fine by me uh, did steak, egg, and cheese bagels ever come back? I think so. I thought I saw I advertised the one closest to me that they're back. So I that was one of the things I used to get all the time is the steak, egg, and cheese bagel. That was like my favorite thing. But truthfully, I mean, as far as food policy goes, I, when I worked at the grocery store, I worked at like a food cart uh, or the food court, and they were much better. Like I, I it, so I made it was a combination coffee burrito 
and um, pizza joined. So I made all three things whenever someone would come up to me. And whatever was left at the end of the shift, I got to keep. So, oh, we have a hype train. Oh my goodness. I missed a whole bunch again. Um, Kayla, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate you. Three months. It's awesome. Kodiak the Kodiak. Kodiak, good to see you in here, buddy. Uh, thank you so much for the sub. Four months. Uh, new sub badge. Yeah, you, we, we gotta, we've got we got to thank uh, City Rat for all the sub badges. Did an excellent job. Uh, Chuckle Squad. Five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Uh, one Violent Imp. Thank you so much for the biddies. Appreciate you. Wisconsin is great. I agree. Vic. Vic. I need you to stop subscribing, Vic, because I got to gift you a sub. I've got to learn how to do it. And Caprio, thank you so much. You're su super generous. I appreciate you. You did that renew manually. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. And thank you all so much for the hype train. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Ariel, Ari, Ariosia, Ari, Arios, Arios, Ariosla. <laughs> thank you so much for the uh, gifted sub. And Caprio, thank you so much again for the gifted sub. And the two more, I appreciate you. Um, is this is the is is it also currently brutal, brutal, brutal and mad with the storm? No, we had a. It was rainy all day, um, and a little bit windy. I had a had a chair blow across my deck, but now it's, I can't hear anything. That's been good. Swebby Webby, sleep well. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Good luck on all the beaver endeavors. We're going to finish at some point. I promise. Kodiak, you're getting the rain now. So we had it hours ago. So it must be slowly. I wonder if it actually picked up steam over the over the lake. Time to explode. Oh, yes. It is time to explode. I think it is. I think it is. Let's slow it down so we can take this in all of its majesty. Okay, first one. Oh, look at that. There it is. Oh, no, no, no. We missed one. Oh, shoot. One. No. Oh, guys, that's painful. Oh. <laughs> well, it'll be fine. All we have to do is build a two triple platforms and we're good. High priority for all of that. All right, well, we'll at least do this. Two more. And then right here, a whole bunch. Oh, this is... And look at how clean that looks. This is exactly the way that we should be treating our wastewater with the dignity and respect it deserves. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, will anyone catch up to uh, Bueno Churro's sub gift record? Uh, no. Bueno Churro is going to end up in uh, uh, a mayor for the year. That was, that was the coolest thing that's ever happened on stream. So... That is uh, Bueno Chero, uh, and actually, hold on, hold on. I'm afraid to do this now because I don't have socks on and there's a bunch of weirdos with feet, but I don't, maybe you guys can't see it. Hold on, hold on. All right. Before I forget, because I will. Bueno Chero equals mayor okay bueno chero is a mayor for 2024 and my feet are secure <laughs> uh the mayor now so this is uh so it's mayor member on the on the videos so uh i'm going like that was super generous so i'm gonna i'm gonna add them to that uh the other thing i need to figure out how to make sure that mayors always have access to early access videos. So that's going to be a thing I need to figure out now. 
You just got a remote access job working for GIS, uh, for a GIS company that does a lot of municipal electric departments in Wisconsin. What uh, is some good Wisconsin lingo that you should use to blend in? Um, just express your love for Culver's and cheese curds and beer. <laughs> if you do that, you'll be fine. <laughs> and talk about the Packers. Honestly, if you can talk Packers, you're going to blend in. So pop is a regional thing. It's a regional thing. So my wife is a pop person. I'm a soda person, just like water fountain and bubbler. Uh, I'm a water fountain person, but in some parts of the state, people say bubbler. The bubbler people are wrong, but they do say it. Yes, ask if they're, ask if they're squeaky. That's smart. Also, if you just want to blend in, uh, uh, when you say words like tag, say it the way I do. I don't know. I don't even know how normal people say it. Tag, tag, or I, I say tag. Bubbler is correct. You hush your mouth. Uh, bubbler is absolutely wrong. So I say it tag. Milwaukee is soda bubbler. Stop and go lights. Yeah. So I am. I am definitely soda water fountain stop and go lights. But I'm from northern Wisconsin. North Central. Move to Northern. <laughs> yeah, Bubbler doesn't make any sense to me. Then again, I guess Water Fountain doesn't either. Drinking Fountain probably makes more sense, but I don't like it, so I'm not going with it. I'm going to drop this down. Let some water out. Hope for the best. Stop and go lights are... Uh, are <laughs> that is stop lights. Just stop lights. <laughs> Your, your family is from Manitowoc and this says bubbler and stop and go lights. So it's funny. Manitowoc, when I was when I was uh, leaving Denver, Manitowoc is one of the cities that had jobs open. And I, I almost applied to be a planner in Manitowoc. I thought I, I I still think that area is really, really interesting and pretty. Traffic signals, traffic lights, stop and go lights, all the same thing. Bubbler was a brand name in the Milwaukee area. That's interesting. I never knew that. Where I'm at from in Southeast Texas, soda water is the choice for referencing soda. So I thought I thought in Texas, Coke was the, the choice for referencing sodas. Time machines, yeah. <laughs> For ATMs. <laughs> you thought Bubbler was a Rhode Island thing, Kodiak? No, it's definitely a Wisconsin thing, too. It's all soda. It's not all Coke. Okay. Is Pepsi okay? You usually hear Coke? So I think most people say pop. I think, I think, I think I'm a weirdo by saying soda. And if you want to be, if you want to, if you just want to get along with everybody, you just say soda pop. Okay. We can blast that now. Oh, oh my goodness. Thank goodness. Uh, and I've got to try to collect this stuff. I know we don't need it, but we're going for it anyway. Look at this. Can you guys believe this? We've almost done it. Finally. Uh, get rid of that. And this. I am so excited. I hope we get bad water immediately. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh nick mch thank you so much the five gifted subs thank you so much uh uh nbrs 6121 thank you so much for the tier one and the hype train we got to uh, level six thank you all so much um here we go choo choo thank you thank you all so much Sweet tea is like getting diabetes immediately. 
Sweet tea is so good, though. Like, I... I've never, uh... I've never wished that my family, my, my, my mom's half the family stayed in Texas. Um, cause I like, I like Wisconsin, but I do think my life would be better with more sweet tea in it. In Australia, call it soft drinks. That sounds so corporate to me. <laughs> Calling it soft drinks. Like technically that's what it is. Sure. Totally worth type two. <laughs> I don't, I don't, sweet tea is one of those things that I don't have very often, but every time I do, I think I should do this more. And then I'm, I, I think about why I don't do it. It's because I, whenever I have sweet tea, I go way too hard on it. <laughs> in, in Kentucky, you say soft drink? Oh, you say soft drink, Ninja Cat. <laughs> <laughs> sugar water is your favorite kind of drink so my favorite kind of drink is the uh when when the soda has no uh sugar in it i'm a coke zero guy i like that's that's what i'm all about and i love putting something in my body that makes no sense it's perfect <laughs> kodiak you're with me Sweet tea is yuck. You take that back. You take that back. So artificial sweeteners taste awful until it's all that you have. And then it tastes great. So it's it's all about getting yourself to the point of accepting them. And once you do that, then they're just wonderful. Okay, Dr. Pepper is my strong number two. Diet Dr. Pepper. Ever since you had COVID, normal uh, soda tastes worse and diet tastes better. Interesting. Is it just too sweet for you now or, or what is it? Sweet tea is the best thing to come out of the South. I mean, there's a lot of great things that have come out of the South. I mean, the food. Oh my goodness. Like, if you haven't had soul food, I mean, that's, that's why you feel the way you do. I mean, that's like Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness. That's like the best part of Thanksgiving is the food. And it's, it's all Southern food is what, what we have at my Thanksgiving. It's, it's one of the reasons why I, I, I will, I will admit to something. Uh, Thanksgiving is like my holiday uh, and a good old barbecue. Exactly. I just made ribs the other night and it's, the way that I cook them is the way that my family taught me how. So mac and cheese, uh, collard greens, like the food in the South is outstanding. Uh, the people are, I, I, at least in my experience, very, very nice. Um, the weather is absolute garbage and, uh, yeah, not, not, not for me. <laughs> people think that the weather here is bad. It is not bad here. It's fine. It is terrible in the South. It's way too hot. Their bugs are gigantic and there are dinosaurs. So I'm not interested. Yeah, big bugs. Barbecue is a staple of life in the South. Uh, there's an ad break and I'm, I'm really sorry for everyone who's experiencing that. For all of you that aren't, I want to thank. Hey, thank you so much for the bit. Appreciate you. And on YouTube, I just want to take a quick moment to thank all of you guys too. Uh, Zero Focus, thank you so much for becoming a planning director. Thank you so much. Neil Mason, thank you for becoming an associate planner. And Austin Panic, thank you for becoming an associate planner. Anyone who's become a planner or subbed, go to Discord. Go to City Hall and vote. I'm going to keep telling everyone that. Go vote. Go vote. Um, and then for everyone else, the vote will be happening on Saturday. It'll start Saturday. I don't know how long I'm going to let it go. We'll let it go for a while. Summers are literally the worst there. Yeah. Banglorious says something about a third gate. Scroll up. Hold on. Banglorious has a message for you. Okay, final try. City Planner plays. You need a third gate by the water source. It's three wide. I have two gates. <gasps> you are right. That's why it's all crazy. All right. Thank you. 
Um, okay. Right there. We'll get rid of that. And then I'll rotate this around. There we go. Vainglorious. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to say, so as I, so when I'm looking this way and you can actually see me staring at the screen, uh, or the, at the camera, I'm looking at an Elgato prompter and I can't see, uh, I actually can't see the highlighting. So when I said that my, my, uh, my channel point messages stink, <laughs> that's one of them. So I need to, I, I need to actually go on the Elgato Reddit and tell them that like this is a problem. I can't see highlighted messages. But thank you, man, Glorious. You've been trying to tell me that for 30 minutes. <laughs> now you're making me feel really bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Especially I know how good you are at this game. So that makes me feel extra bad. Here we are, though. The end of our mega project here. And finally, we are able to divert all of our poop water out this way when we have a bad water tide. And that means that we should be able to raise our reservoir all the way to the top and be completely fine. So let's get this up to two and a half. It's gonna be a little while. There we go. This is a thing of beauty. I'm super pumped. That's That took a while. Uh, but we're there. As someone who grew up in California and lived in Atlanta for five years, the weather and bugs sucked. The food was amazing. I got the weirdest looks when I ordered unsweetened tea. <laughs> That's funny. I've got a one of my one of my best friends actually. When we all, so I, when I lived in Los Angeles, I was there uh, with a group of friends, and we basically all decided that Los Angeles hated us at the same time. Now, for me, I was working at a video on demand company. And they decided, I mentioned this before, they decided to outsource basically everybody who was doing my job. And I was, I was basically, I was taking little set top boxes that are, you'd find at like the MGM Grand in Las Vegas or uh, Four Seasons in like Hawaii. I was taking all those boxes and uh, I would get them returned to me and I'd replace the capacitors. And at the same time, I would take uh, calls from people who couldn't get their movies started uh, or who wanted refunds if they were watching pornography and they wanted to uh, uh, and they wanted a refund because they were unhappy with it or didn't want their wife to find out, they would call me and ask for a refund. So that was my job and I got canned because uh, they outsourced my job. Um, and then I had other friends who all at the same time, got, did I get banned? <laughs> um, at the same time, Probably should have been a little more, uh, probably should have been a little more discreet with that word. Um, my other friends also lost their jobs. It was like the height of the recession. So uh, we all decided to go different places. I went back to Wisconsin. Uh, another friend said he would come back with me, but only if I moved to a certain place. I refused to move there. That place being Madison. <laughs> and another friend of mine moved to Atlanta. And uh, so I've been to Atlanta many times to visit him. Uh, the friend that didn't move with me ended up moving to the Bay Area, and that's why I go there sometimes. And it's great. Um, it's great seeing him there. <laughs> Speaking of the South, do I have any opinions about these struggles of Atlanta and public transit? Lots of sprawl. Uh, now we're investing in buses instead of rail. Oh, man. Atlanta's a mess. Like... Um, my first experience going to Atlanta was, oh shoot. Hold on. I have this going too high. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the problem with Atlanta is that they've basically just, the entire region is kind of a, just a sprawling mess. Um, and when you have that much developed in that way, oh no. Uh, it becomes really difficult to do things like rail. Um, so reasonably, I do wonder, and I, this is me speaking from the hip, not having researched Marta or anything happening in Atlanta in any serious way. Um, but I would be curious to know if part of the struggles there is that routing is really challenging for, for rail. Um, but yeah, 
I remember just like getting trapped in traffic and then there was snow. It shut everything down. And then while I was there, rather than treating the snow in a serious way, they had like two plows out and they were tossing sand around. And I remember going around downtown Atlanta being like, what are you guys doing? Like everyone was driving like crazy and um, just didn't know how to deal with cold weather. <laughs> this was wild. But yeah, I think that I think that yeah, completely unprepared for the snow, the whole state shuts down. Yeah, I, that and that I was there in the middle of that. It was it was a lot of fun. Uh, so you played Timberborn because of me. You played for eighteen hours straight. <laughs> JD Bizzle. I do not condone that. I have done that, but I do not condone that. <laughs> Man, Gloria is living in the South. You can attest the natives not understand snow. Yeah, it was, it was, it was kind of the, the the craziest experience I've ever had in the snow. I wouldn't have expected to have that in the south, but I did. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. I don't know how to fix this. I've got to keep thinking. I've got to keep thinking. I'm gonna drop it to 1.5 right there. We've got. Oh, zero. And then I think we'll go 1.5 over here because we're by the source. And one over here. That should do the trick. Clear us out. There we go. Reasonably, I need to fix this because I screwed it all up. And I don't want to fix it because it's going to make this look ugly. It's actually really depressing. There's no wildlife near you, no bugs, no birds. It makes makes the world feel empty and less than it should be. Julian, are you in the desert? Um, or in a super urbanized area? I mean, when I was in Los Angeles, I saw rivers of roaches. That didn't make me feel good. <laughs> uh, I think the last time it, it snowed where you live in Florida was like 1977. Jeez. Urbanized area. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, that, that is one of the things. Um, Silicon Valley? Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the thing about um, some parts of California that I both loved and, and didn't like, is it felt like everything was super controlled and manicured. So everything was really pretty, but at the same time, also, uh, it could feel sterile at times. And I could see, especially in Silicon Valley, how it could feel that way. The Milwaukee, you got raccoons, possums, haws, rabbits, ha <laughs> rats, feral cats, mice. Yeah, same. Uh, yeah. And gigantic spiders. Spiders that just started coming back, and I'm waiting to find one on stream, and you guys will see me freak out, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be wonderful. <laughs> really not looking forward to that. Um. See. Oh, 13 beaver bots now. And not enough money for this yet. And not enough science. Um, So, do we just... Do you guys think that we just hold off on our science until we can unlock the ability to assemble beaver bots with bots? Prioritize those water wheels. So I think we're going to, but we got to get these going. So this is actually our highest priorities are this and these. And then we'll get these going. Oh my goodness. It didn't take that out. Are you kidding me? Came back. They can't reach any of the water wheels up yet. Oh. I really don't want to do it like this, but I'm going to. Because I'm going to delete this as well, but this is probably the easiest way to get it done. All right. That's the way that we'll do it. And then I'll get rid of this last. Did I hear that Denver airport had 800 flights canceled today? No. Wow. That's going to screw up things all around the country. Can you play hooky from work tomorrow? 
One violent imp, I give you permission. Three day weekend for you. Your request is approved. <laughs> you have a lot of giant spiders in Alabama. You welcome them because mosquitoes are sometimes bigger. Ugh. Yeah, we have a lot of mosquitoes here and it's been so warm that we've started to, to see bugs already. Um, it was uh, uh, 70 this past weekend. Uh, let me see what that is in, in Celsius. Okay, I did it wrong. I have it uh, on the F to C, not 157, at 21 Celsius. Um, this is like room temperature. In fact, this last weekend, I ended up uh, spending most of the weekend putting in garden beds. So that was exciting. Now we're too far from that one. Your allergies are already starting to act up. Ugh. Uh, yes, water is at 1.5. Ooh. All right. Time to start pumping. We could turn one on. I think I'm going to spend a little bit right here. A little bit of science so that we can have the beavers pumping water. Or the beaver bots pumping water. I think we have another builder over here. I wonder. So we have a builder right here that we could switch to bots. But I wonder how much the hauler is. 250? Absolutely. That seems like a genius spot to put him. Um, why do I have so many spiders? Or all, are you one of those exaggerators? Pest control guy here? I don't know why I have so many spiders, truthfully. Uh, so I see a spider in this room every other day. And in my basement in my house, I see a spider, a big one, like a big house spider, at least every day, sometimes twice a day. And for a while, I thought, okay, I'll just take my little hand vacuum, I'll suck them up, and I'll throw them outside because I'm going to make my wife happy. And then eventually, I realized that some of them are probably just getting back in. So I started just flushing them down the toilet because I don't know what to do with them at this point. You're never coming over to my house. <laughs> That's how I make sure never no one ever wants to come over because so they always end up right over there in the corner of the room and they're just a gigantic spider staring at me. To be fair, we yeah. So I understand that we don't have big spiders here, but these are big spiders for Wisconsin. Time to move. I just did that a year ago. You guys are going to have to cart me out of this place. I uh, I never want to move again. Moving was miserable. Like I and I, I just we didn't move very far, and I still hated it. <laughs> uh, the worst you get are grain moths. They do damage to fabric. Ugh. And food. Ugh. You're listening while playing City Skylines 2. Have a good one. Thank you. Hopefully City Skylines 2 is going well for you. We can only move north, which is Canada, to get further away. Canada's too cold, man. I can't do it. Well, except... I could do I could do British Columbia. And I guess where most people live in Canada isn't cold. Uh, but still, Canada's cold. <laughs> and look at this. It's happening. We're finally getting it. We're going up. You have orb weavers that like to set up camp, giant webs, and a path to your porch inside your home. Ugh. No. You just want to say that 80% of Canada's population lives further south than I do. That's a good point. It's all perspective. I live very far north, but not as far north as I used to. Uh, but Canada will soon be Wisconsin, uh, be the Wisconsin weather I'm used to. That's true. I will say, though, having grown up in northern Wisconsin and having moved to southern Wisconsin as an adult, our winters are a full month shorter here than they are where I grew up. So there is something to be said. There's a reason why everyone lives where they do in Canada. Do I want to look that up, Batch? Are you are you going to are you gonna make me regret this? Hold on. I want to know if I need to protect you all. Oh yeah. Mm, not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. That's that's terrible. 
I'm not showing the rest of you guys that. <laughs> this is not going to become that kind of stream. <laughs> I do not want to. I did look that up. And I'm not a fan. I yeah, batch. How could you do that to me? You recommend low sodium light bulbs for the exterior lighting to make sure that trees and bushes aren't touching the structure. Spiders, of course, live. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta see this. Spiders, of course, live off other bugs. If you can remove the food source from around the home, they will reduce the sightings. Not foolproof, but it can help. So, I've been thinking. Wait, today's National Save a Spider Day. <laughs> I've been thinking. So we don't really have, I mean, so we've got a little bit of stuff. So like outside of this window that's behind you guys right now, there is a, a, a garden bed and there's a strawberry patch in there. <laughs> I did look up orbs, but not cocktails. <laughs> uh, could the strawberries be the reason why I'm seeing spiders in my office? Because I'd really hate to, to destroy my kid's happiness by moving the strawberries. Because the strawberries attract bugs and the bugs go after, or the, the spiders go after the bugs and they're outside my window so they sneak into my office. It's all my fault. Oh my goodness. Are the strawberries, wait, wait. Did I did I did I accidentally reference batch when I should have been referencing brain freeze? If I did that, I'm sorry. <laughs> there aren't strawberries there right now, no. But there are there will be flowers soon. I'm gonna stop thinking about bugs. I'm gonna stop thinking about bugs. I'm gonna think about beavers. You guys are you guys are gonna make me freak out. <laughs> all right power power <laughs> we need all of the power and that didn't blow up you guys were right so good looking out um and we need this and we're good there i think we're actually almost caught up on all the things we were building Locomotive engineer, get to the front of the locomotive covered in spider webs uh, from now until November. We get the we get the front of the locomotive covered in spider webs from now until November. No, 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 we're not talking about that anymore. <laughs> spider hating Aussie here. Uh, name them; it makes them more tolerable. <laughs> then I have to feel bad though. Then they're like pets. Then it's like, all right, well, this is. Wait, what do you even name a spider? Like, I know a good dog name, but what's a good spider name? If you were going to name a pet spider, what would you name it? Gary? Goggles? Lodge? Jason? Colin? Peter Parker? Peter Parker's a good one. That's fair. <laughs> uh, Eli? Charlotte? Charlotte's good, too. Charlotte, I mean, I should have I should have picked that one. I mean, Charlotte's was my daughter's favorite book right now. Craig Frank Pumpkin? <laughs> Timothy or Kevin Tommy eight legs <laughs> lots of good so I've got a couple to choose from now so but I, I feel like if I go with Charlotte like you guys are recommending I end up in a spot where if I kill the spider which I want to do I disappoint my daughter and then I get to blame you guys for that <laughs> Oh my goodness. No flow at all. But it's strong over here. Okay, one and a half. One. That should hopefully improve the flow. What is going on? Oh. Part of me wants to just close this forever. Oh, not that. Not that. Close that forever and not worry about that side ever again. That is just reservoir and it's just there just in case. And then we just flow the water through here and we will block it down here to, to preserve a bunch of water through. That's honestly, why not just do that? Uh, say Charlotte absolutely, absolutely eviscerates spider uh, with, yeah. See, that's that's the thing. Well, and, and the thing is, I won't do that. What I will do is I will suck it up 
and slowly walk it to the bathroom and just flush it down the toilet. And Charlotte will just slowly spin around the toilet and then go away. But is, is Charlotte really dead then? Can you prove it? Or is Charlotte living in the sewers meeting the Ninja Turtles? You never know. <laughs> well, that's some pig. <laughs> she has gotten to the ending, so she knows she knows Charlotte's fate. So maybe that softens the blow a bit. Although the fate is that Charlotte has a million babies and your entire house is completely infested with spiders. So is that really the outcome that we want here? Because <laughs> it sounds terrible. <laughs> Next week, instead of making real old fashions, not the kind that Julian wants to make, I will, uh, I will show you my spider collection. I will save them all. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll that'll be how we spend the stream you guys think that we're gonna be playing stardew valley or uh city skylines no we're just gonna look at spiders together that i collect from around my house the strangest stream in the world <laughs> uh jay rancher thank you so much for the bits appreciate you buddy what's up not much beaver in Yeah, next week we're making old fashions. We're gonna we're gonna take a break on beer. We're gonna make old fashions. Now, where I'm where I'm heading towards is I'm gonna take Julian's uh, recipe for not old fashions and my real old fashioned, and we're gonna I will be the judge of which tastes better. Maybe you'll surprise me. Be specific. Be very specific. What's my whiskey of choice? I'm not really a whiskey guy. I, I, uh, I, it's gonna be a brandy old fashioned for me. Have I tried try the new Blackberry Crown? I've not. <laughs> I also, I don't really drink out a lot of hard liquor. I'm a beer guy. So I usually look for whatever's local. So lately I've had, uh, the, the most recent brandy and whiskey I bought were both from. Driftless yeah, out of uh, Baraboo. And I've also picked up brandy from uh, Wallershine. So I just, I, I like, I'm excited about those businesses existing near me and I want them to continue. So I just, I try to get whatever's closest. There's unfortunately never going to be such a thing as gluten free bourbon. Uh, but the corn based, based vodka feels better for me. Yeah, the Jamie channel, you got to go with what feels good. I mean, if you can't tolerate something, then you're like, it'll, it'll make a bad time worse. <laughs> a Canadian club whiskey or whatever cheap vodka are you putting your hand at the liquor store? <laughs> That's the, 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 the cheaper the alcohol though, the hard liquor anyway, the worse the hangover. I don't want a hangover. So I, I will I will I will either pay for very good liquor or not at all. There are severe tornado watches and warnings over eight states. Am I okay? Yeah, we're good. I think. I mean hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean reasonably. I do have my weather radio right here. So like we could check it out like old school. I don't want to do it like looking at websites and stuff. So I can just like, this is, I was listening to this earlier. Yeah, they're talking about, they're talking about uh, the weather on Tuesday night. So there's no, there's no tornado near me. We're good. We're good. <laughs> For under a hundred dollar bottle, Jefferson Oceans. So here's the other thing about buying, like, so let's say that that whiskey you said is <laughs> such an old man move. It's a funny thing about that. So I showed my wife this, and uh, she was like, "My dad would love that." <laughs> and I I keep finding more and more ways to prove to her that she's married her dad. 
Uh, but this thing, oh, hold on, hold on. You're going to get me started on this. Hold on. This is the coolest damn thing I own. So look at this. So it has a solar panel right here. I can crank it right here to charge it up. I can charge it via USB-C and I can discharge to my phone. So cool. And it's also a flashlight. Uh, it's also an SOS signal and I can listen to just like normal radio. Super cool. Um, okay, maybe super cool is not the right word, but I love it. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's, that's, if you're wondering what I'm into, that's the sort of thing. <laughs> dad cool yeah <laughs> this is a sponsored ad whoever made this i mean it's random amazon so but i would gladly accept a sponsorship because that is a that is a cool product i rarely leave reviews but that one's getting a review because it's that good speaking as a dad you feel me it's dad cool yeah so what i really want is I want to get one of those weather stations so that I can attach it to weather underground and have my house be a weather station. Like that is something that like is on my list of things. Like I keep telling everyone, like, if you want a good gift for me, that's the one. So I'm hoping that someday my wife bites, but I feel like I can't justify it. Your weather underground house. Oh, it's so cool. Like I, I'm so jealous <laughs> Thank Lord. It's like, for years and I, I can't justify buying it for myself, but I just, I keep hoping one of these days, one of these days, if you get a weather underground crib, we need, we need to install stream. We need an all install stream. Honestly, there's a lot of stuff that I wish that I would have done on stream or as a video. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to think. When I built my server, like I've built multiple, um, um, uh, multiple Synology. Um, why am I losing the words? I built multiple Synology NASs, and I've also built uh, my Ubiquity server. Um, and those are like super cool things that like I'm super into. That I I would have loved to share, um, but I just. I kind of did it on my own and I enjoy it on my own, my home lab. Yeah, love it. Network attached storage for anyone who doesn't know. I have a two, well, three actually at this point, network attached, attached serve, uh, serve, uh, network attached storages. Uh, so servers, one of them is a solid state array. Whenever I edit videos, all of that goes to a solid state array. Uh, I have another one that has um, just a bunch of very fast uh, spinning drives in there and I use that for all of my archival storage and then I have another one uh, so my, my editor has access to both of those drives and then my other server is for personal stuff like uh, wedding photos tax documents pictures and rather than using like Google Photos I use Synology photos and everything gets backed up to there. It's super cool. I just, I love, I love it so much. It's so cool. So it's funny you mentioned Raspberry Pi. I got a Raspberry Pi for Christmas. It's right behind me and I haven't done anything with it yet. So I didn't know that I could, I didn't know I could use that for Weather Underground too. Did I get my taxes done yet? Man. Why you gotta go there? <laughs> Uh, maybe. So I did my taxes, but I feel like I did them wrong. Um, so I, I submitted them and I feel, um, I had a nightmare the other night that I was audited and the, the, uh, the guy from the IRS came and was just like, I just wanted to hang out and talk for a little while. And like, I didn't know who it was. And at the very end, I was like, Hey, are you just like an auditor from the IRS? He's like, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, we're definitely auditing you. That's that's why we're here, and uh, yeah, it was it was it, like it's it's becoming like a like a thing. Like I feel like I'm doing such a bad job um, with QuickBooks. QuickBooks is the devil. It is it is the worst piece of software in existence. The fact that they make me do online only stuff just drives me up a wall, uh, and I feel like all of my problems 
with my taxes are due to Intuit. And if I wasn't dealing with QuickBooks, I feel like I would do a better job. But it's like pulling in my personal stuff and I had to go through and like filter. It's just a mess. I just hate it. Yeah, Intuit sucks. If you guys ever try to sponsor me, I would turn you down and I would dance. I would show your email to the world. I hope you guys try. You're the worst company in existence. And if anyone here works at Intuit, I'm sorry they suck. But uh, I get it. You got to work. You got to put food on your table. But they're terrible. Anyway, I'm going to stop ranting about Intuit and QuickBooks. I hate it so much. Uh, MS Access is worse. Yes. I had a, a grad school course where my professor was just like, you got to learn Access. It's the best. Yeah, it was terrible. But TurboTax... Uh, and the, the other thing, I was a I was a loyal Mint user for years, and they discontinued that, and they said go use Credit Karma. That's not the same. The different app. They're just terrible. Everything they do is bad, and it makes me angry. <laughs> you have an old Filipino guy in your family. You're Filipino who does taxes. He's fast, efficient, uh, and amazing. About a hundred bucks. Oh boy. So. The thing is, when you when you're a creator, you end up it's, it ends up being a small business, and uh, it ends up becoming a total. I'm, okay, I'm gonna pause this for a second. I want to redo this. I want to fit. We're gonna we're gonna be efficient with this. Um, so you end up being a small business, and you end up needing to um, go with like a, a CPA. So my CPA is like super expensive. And then I feel like I'm doing all this work that doesn't make any sense to me. And I don't know if I've done a good job. And then I have QuickBooks and he's logged into QuickBooks telling me that I'm not doing it right. And I just, I feel bad. All of it's bad. Yeah, there's 1099 NECs. Yeah. And then the, the, to really confuse things, like I've done a lot of work in Europe, technically, um, with different sponsorships. Um, so that's just like another, another wrinkle. Uh, including the Timberborn people, which were super awesome. Um, so yeah, it's it's all like a thing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna fix this real quick. Please build the steps. Oh my goodness, build the steps, build the steps, so that all the beavers don't die. Uh, you test it out. Wynab wasn't happy with it. Monarch is the closest thing to Mint. You love it? Uh, hold on. Wynab. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that down. If anyone has any... Any alternatives to, uh, to uh, QuickBooks, I would take it. <laughs> I would take any and all advice. Surprised I didn't add bushes. We're doing bushes next. We... Uh, we had to get this thing going first. And I feel like now we're finally in a spot where we can start to decorate. Mm. Ah, shoot. I'm going to get rid of that and this and replace it with one more house. Um, you hate Quicken, but it's the only software that actually has one feature that you need, which is showing upcoming bills and projecting your remaining money after paying it. Yeah. For me, the feature, uh, maybe a little Simsy has a good, good. Yeah. I mean that, the, yeah, honestly, I should talk to more creators about it. That would probably be the right way to go. Um, yeah, I, for me, the big feature that I need and the one that keeps me there is the ability to pay my contractor. My editor is a, a contractor and I just being able to quickly pay him. Um, like we have a, we have a routine Mondays at he requests his payment. I give him a payment. I, I send it through. He gets it on Tuesday. We're good to go. Um, so yeah, you've used a volunteer tax repair your whole life who charges nothing. You're a self-employed ent entertainment contractor. That's pretty awesome. I mean, if you can get that, FreshBooks is an alternative to QuickBooks. And I have never heard of that, <laughs> which makes me feel uh, like I'm not doing a good job researching. 
Uh, you used to love Mint, but then you realized Intuit, who was also filing taxes with, was literally seeing every transaction posted to all my bank accounts. And I went, oh, Jamie, that's a good, uh, that's, yeah, that's good. <laughs> you know, B. Swigglehausen, I might as well. I've given it to everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> one app may, may not be what i need but it helped you way more than mint i mean at this point i'm down for basically anything <laughs> anything that's not owned by intuit i just want them to like as a company to go away holy cow guys we are at almost 200 and what 240 beater 244 beavers right now just by this little thing uh we should stop <laughs> for a moment and make sure that we are not screwing up because i feel like food could become a problem wealth uh well simple tax is, is decent apparently canada only yeah with 62 beds to spare we're gonna we're gonna reach we are already there we're water are, we're full on water my bigger concern you can see right here first of all 82 unemployed beavers <laughs> that's pretty insane um also what is going on with our wall oh, we're in a drought so we're stuck totally missed that because i started ranting about turbo tax and totally forgot the drought um the crops are dying because we we don't have any water to them i'm gonna release some you've been very happy with cash acts app tax formerly credit karma tax i feel like for for content creators gig economy people there's a difference between being a sole proprietor and an employee of your company uh so my CPA did tell me that I should be an S Corp. So technically, I I am not City Planner Plays. I am an employee of City Planner Plays. So it's it's absolutely stupid. Um, but I, I I pay myself a salary um, of of my company, of which I am the only employee. <laughs> Top right, sixteen hours. Top right, sixteen. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm fine with that. Sorry, just through a good portion of your city's 100 page 50 uh 150 page plan development plan. Interesting stuff. Good. So now you have a better understanding of your city than most people that live in it, which I think is is super cool. Oh, apparently I won't say, I won't say her name, but she thinks I'm talking to her. <laughs> I'm clearly an escort. <laughs> I think you need time for that. <laughs> Day night shift. Unfortunately, no. Uh, you thought Bill said escort too. Whoops. <laughs> Why is uh, the beautiful parallelogram unfinished by the new windmills? Uh, we are, this is turned off. The carousel's turned off. We're gonna do that last. Uh, this, we had a staircase in its way. So I had to move, remove the staircase. We'll put it back there. Then we'll build this and then we'll build our windmills. And then we'll build this thing because we're focused on everything but food. <laughs> Although, I'm starting to realize we've got all of this right here that could be great farming land. And that's probably what we should be doing right here. In fact, in fact, let's do it. Uh, and oh, if we assign beavers, we can start to use some of our beehives. So I think that that's that's the that's the plan. Oh shoot! You almost lost your Duolingo streak. Uh, McFuddlebutt, did you did you do it? 
I should level the area just for fun. I thought about it. We've got a lot of dirt. Oh, you're going to convince me to do it. First of all, before we do that. I want to get rid of some of this stuff that doesn't matter anymore. No sport storage space for the planks. Um, I don't know that we need any of this. Yeah, maybe I'll just get rid of it. Where are you guys going? Oh, I built a quick path and they were able to pick up this stuff. That's awesome. No storage for planks. All right, I'm going to build another storage. Uh, I'll put that right there. We'll put planks in here. And then I'm going to get rid of all of this. Then we'll level this. And then we'll add a bunch of farms. It's going to be awesome. Your city is implementing the first protected bike lane, but it's taken six months. It's not even close to finishing. Yeah, it's 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 a. Uh, I think especially the first time it's it can be really intimidating for cities to do that. So you got you got your you got your street good, good. Where are the water pipes? That was one of the things that we're supposed. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. That's the next. That's the next thing we should be doing. Okay. Okay. So we are going to take this down. One here. Let's straighten out our road. Right there. And then we'll go down. Actually, wait, wait, wait. We need to go. So that's two. One right here. I can't blast I can't blast that out of the way, so I'll need to move this. We're gonna ignore that. And we'll shift this over. And we're gonna irrigate all of this. Great idea. Great idea. We're gonna put the water pipes underneath the road right where they belong. So dynamite right there. That will bring us water all the way down. Um one there, two there. We should be good. And of course, high priority. So then I'll put on top of this, I'll put some of our uh, some of our platforms. And it should extend this all the way down here. And that should be, I mean, that's that's great. I can delete those stone stairs. How do I delete them? Oh, bang glorious. Thank you. That was awesome. That is awesome. Uh, awesome. We got a quick ad break. Um, so, Ian, I want to thank you so much for the uh, two months. Prime sub. Appreciate you. Ads are annoying. Now you're not watching them. And uh, OD, OD Ficus, OB Ficus. Thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate you. And over on YouTube... Carson, thank you so much for uh, seven months of being an associate planner. And Dro, uh, Dromega, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Appreciate you guys. So once these are done, so this is the game. You can kind of see it right here. So the water will come straight down. I love the beaver bots. I love the beaver bots. Um... We should be able to send this down this way. And boom. Oh, shoot. I used the wrong ones. I thought it looked off and I didn't I didn't follow my gut. Not a big deal. We'll just take it. And then eventually. I'm going to. Get rid of that. And then we'll move our steps over here. To something like.
There. Perfect. Not perfect. That's not going to work. I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't need this. I need to calm down. Uh, go to Discord in your personal... Oh, oh, you're telling people how to link their Discord. Thank you. Thank you. You, you just got a QuickBooks ad for real? I, I cannot believe that. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad they're wasting money advertising on this stream after I just got done talking a bunch of smack about him. <laughs> Good for them. Whatever, whatever, uh, uh, you know, if, if you are convinced that QuickBooks is for you after watching this, all right, <laughs> do your thing. <laughs> all right. When the drought ends, we're going to see some absolutely amazing stuff. So we'll just route this right here. Step up here. Actually, hold on. I don't think that that's right. Let's. I'm gonna give this some thought. So I want to build this up, and we're gonna we're gonna clean it up, just like we talked about. Uh, so a couple right there, right there. Oh yeah. Everything will be rectangular. Just just as uh, as it's always been intended to be. Uh, as far as blowing things up, let's rectangle that out as well. Love it. Although, hold on. Too far. Uh, one tile wide might not be... Might, I'm gonna give, give me the, the irrigation I'm hoping for. Okay. All right. I will... Uh, Hold on. We'll, uh, we'll we'll make it wider. Going to throw the step right there though and then right there. So you're thinking that I probably should go too wide then and maybe that will do the trick. All right. We'll do that. Um one right there, two right here. And then eventually I'll do the exact same thing right here. One wide, but three deep might be. See, like I need it to be deeper. Brutalist architecture. Yes, that's the way that we do it here. I should have just made this one gigantic rectangular block. So what are you guys thinking? One wide, but three deep, or is two wide and at the level of this okay? Honestly, if I do this too, I probably want to dam this right here. And we're gonna build this up. Or dam right here, maybe? Deep as possible. Oh, okay, okay. In that case, before this gets too big, pick that stuff up. And actually, if I just throw the bombs there, we'll be fine. So, triple bombs. Oh, finally, the drought's done. I think 1.5 is what we had before. Yeah, more booms. We're doing it. Um, are these done? No. We're, oh, I got to add the steps back here as well. Okay. 121 unemployed beavers. <laughs> we really need to build this farm because we're kind of struggling for food right now. So we've... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, I mean, 
on one hand, we're almost to 300. If you count the bots, we're over. So we could say that even if the whole colony dies right now, uh, we are, yeah, we have overpopulation. Even if the beavers die right now, though, we've met our goal. <laughs> Granted, we will sacrifice every beaver we have in the meantime. Um, oh, no. Okay. This is not exactly where I, oh, where do I want to put this? Nowhere. None of these places. I'm not sure yet. Um, uh, we're going to go. We'll go right here to go quickly. These are the priority. I throw some. Oh, I can just do that. Prioritize resource. Um, I don't know yet. And we're going to do potatoes because that's all we do is potatoes. We reached over here. This is the very best time to build this when we're in the middle of building an irrigation system. How's it going? We reached our goal. We got 300 beavers. However, we are now running out of food because uh, the Tower of Beaver uh, has a lot of beavers. <laughs> and we have not been keeping up with our food. We tripled the number of beavers without building any farms. Uh, we have biofuel set with... We have it set with potatoes. So I wonder... We'll do carrots. That'll slow our biofuel production down. We've got the catalyst, which is coming from all, all of our maple, which are fine. The Great Tower of Beavers. Uh, three by three, three deep hole <laughs> with a fluid pump. Irrigate 13 by 13. That is amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> the Tower of Beavers sounds like a house of ill repute. <laughs> yeah. This is the lakes map. You'd be hard pressed to tell because we have no water right now. It's we're refilling our reservoir, and it's it is it is slow going. Um, gosh. Oh shoot! I I I sped the work. I put the workplace priority to high. No wonder they're not building it. <sighs> I'm a little bit stressed out, guys. This is a, this is a little bit stressful for me. <laughs> um, if it, what do I think about Planet Zoo? I never played Planet Zoo. Pooch, good to see you here. Never played it, but I know it's on Game Pass. I installed it. It's 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 actively installed on my Xbox, but I've never played it. But I've I've heard a lot of people say that I would probably like it. And if I would like it, I feel like you and I have similar taste in games. So you probably like it as well. Um, park managers are fun. What game is, is this? This is Timberborn. It is a game where you basically make a gigantic beaver colony in a post-apocalyptic world. And we've done a lot. We've we've got, it's a, it's a very efficient colony. We're working on making it even better. Um, we have beaver apartments over here. Oh, we never put the roofs on there. That is unfortunate. We've got to fix that. Uh, I don't know how to make a four wide roof look good. Um, short of putting something on it. You feel like I would get completely overwhelmed by trying to do Satisfactory? I I uh, actually picked up Satisfactory on a sale, so I could. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys want to see the dance hall? You can do that. Look at that. Although I feel like the music is a downer that we have to go on right now. Uh... Hold on, hold on. What, 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 what are we gonna do? We'll uh There we go. They're digging it. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> 
It's a missed opportunity to overpopulate more by uh, by uh, moving the bar higher. <laughs> they dance while they dance all day in the 80s. <laughs> I could see that. Look at that. Afterwards, just like thinking about what a rough day it's been. But how great your view is. This is what they're seeing. They're dancing. They're seeing what appears to be uh, just a gigantic factory complex. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beaver Kevin Bacon is proud. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, this thing fills up soon. This is also making me uncomfortable. Uh, here's more explosions. We've got to add a couple more right there. And then I think our irrigation is, I mean, it, this is a little baby irrigation system. I guess we've got to do one more side over here as well. Actually, once we get, once we round the bend here, I will build our pads over the top and then we'll switch sides. You would love to be a beaver in my colony who needs food anyway. Yeah, you'd be completely fine. As long as you just drink water and nothing else. Although look, we've planted, so we, we're, we're improving. We have no storage. Um, We'll have to fix that. Okay, we're gonna make this mixed use. So here's how we do it. We're going to add our storage on top here. And I wonder, let's see. Let's find our way up first. There we go. We have our way up. And then we'll only do a little bit up here. I hate that so much. Oh, I hate that. Oh, we'll do it over here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's there is a there is a solution here. Uh need water by their homes too. Yeah, we'll get we'll we'll do that. We'll put some I think storage is probably. If we had storage over here, we'd probably be in a good spot. I'll quickly build a big storage over here. Uh where do I want to put this? Honestly, this is kind of becoming the land of misfit toys. We'll just put it right there. Um, so I'm thinking if I were to bump this back a little bit, then we could potentially go up two levels right there and make a, a staircase. So let me give this a shot. We'll get rid of that. Or yeah. Okay, that's gonna work for us whenever that gets built. In the meantime, all the beavers die who live up here. Um, actually, 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 I'm going the wrong way again. Hold on. This is the part of the game that I think I want mods for the most. M the most building stairs is absolutely brutal. Uh, but to do this, I I've got to back it out even more. Uh, okay hold on got it got it got it uh do i have somewhere to cook all those potatoes not yet that yeah that is something i gotta do hey iron teeth can drink coffee that's amazing ladder mod and spiral staircase are full of wind i could see that i mean this this is i mean I think that we can all admit that this is stupid. <laughs> what, I've just, what I've built right here to try to go up another level doesn't make any sense, but it's the best I can do. Heading to bed. Buena Chero, thank you so much. Uh, again, thank you so much for all the gifted subs earlier. Thank you for being here. Uh, sleep well. Have a good night. Apple with chair simulator. Yes. 
It's going to be a challenge. <laughs> More games should add a cornered stairs by default. Yeah, that would be that would do the trick. Oh, my goodness. Are we going to get up there in time? Or are we going to start having beavers dying? It'll either be because of this or the or the food. Ah. All right. We'll I'm going to blast here. Just because I want to start shifting this over. Okay. Okay. That is going to do the trick for us whenever that gets done. We have all the things to do. Um Uh make photo butt. Have a nice night. <laughs> I can build so tight and compact the ladders. I could see that. I could see that for sure. Okay. There we are. We're going to build. So I think I'm going to build some of the storage for potatoes up here. Um, this is just so ugly. So I'm going to go with the smaller ones. And then I think that we'll actually put a grill somewhere up here as well. <laughs> Imagine living under a warehouse of potatoes. Wait, that doesn't sound like fun to you? Uh, there's also no decorations anywhere. So let's... Let's finally do this. Let's uh let's clean things up. Ooh. A little bit of lag there. Um I'm going to put a bench or a bush in front of all of these. Let's see. Oh, I hate this so much. It looks terrible. Um, hmm. Better yet. I think we'll just go straight bush and do something out the front instead um so we'll take the key wall concept and we'll do something up there <laughs> imagine being able to grab a bag of potatoes from a stairs at any time exactly so you're getting it it's all about convenience use the other bush and it'll boost their well-being score what's the other bush this one Oh, oh, so I'm guessing those ones, you know, the funny thing, I don't like the way these look as much. <laughs> I don't think they look as nice, but that's fine. That's fine. What do the rest of these do? I, I I should look at that. Uh, bulletin pole. Here. Okay. Now I'm gonna. Oh, that's gonna look terrible right there. Uh, hello, Mr. City Planning Pl Planner Place. How you doing? I'm doing well, Mad Mad. How you doing? Uh, the lanterns might look nice. Yeah, I think I think you're right about that. Um, put one of those. So I I, I kind of want to do the lanterns 
out. So like we will build out a little ways and then have a couple of lanterns at like even intervals. So I, so we didn't need to do a bunch of levees. They look nice, but we didn't need to do those. We could have just done a bunch of platforms, but because we've already done the levees, I think I'm going to stick with them. We've got a lot of wood anyway, not the end of the world. And then what I think I'll go three. And let's see. Let's add some lanterns. And Oh, that looks terrible. That looks horrible. I'm going to cut it off right there. And I am so torn. That is a lot of levees. It is crazy. So this is B Squiggle House. This is you. <laughs> So it's supposed to be like a key wall, and then it went. I went insane. Um, idea number two. Idea number two. We're gonna we're gonna continue with the levees, but I want. I want to have the key wall idea. I think I want to go with fences all the way around. And we'll get rid of this. This isn't really necessary anymore. And I might scoot it over if we have it. Um, think of the aesthetics. Use the platforms to make a pure boardwalk. Ooh, I like that. So we could have like a... Something like that. And then, oh yeah, I like that. And then we can put something fun out there. Pew with a Lido or two, or two. Is it too high? It's not. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Carousel Pier would be fun as well. So I made this mistake of building everything up here already. So we're really close. It's too far from a district. Does this have anything? It doesn't have anything there. So I... You reminded me. I'll get this thing moving again. Uh, by attaching it to our network. And then right here. There we go. And you know what? Beavers don't need to worry about falling off. They'll be just fine. Uh, over here. little privacy some bushes there we go i dig that that is cool um caris up here yeah caris up here would be super cool though um but i think we'll get it right here some showers let me let me finish the fence first and then we'll we'll get to that oh what i really want is a complete waste of time, but we're gonna do it anyway. 
I really want this to be consistent. So we're going to do this and then run it down this way. And I think... All of the levees. All of them. And we'll move this out here. Okay. Food. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Oh, I got so distracted. Oh, no. Oh, no. Build a grill. We don't even have potatoes stored over here. We've got all the grills. Hold on. So there's a potato, a bunch of potatoes. No one's grilling them. Let's grill, but instead of spatter dock, we're gonna grill potatoes right here. Um, oh no. Oh no, how did I let this happen? Oh no, I totally missed it. All right, all right guys, Um, this is bad. I don't know that we can recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna try um potatoes there we've got an automated beaver potatoes here okay timber bot timber bot all right i'll make that one a priority too we've got the builders that were beavers i think i'm gonna switch them or, oh no oh no Cue the drought. It's it's coming. Oh, no. Well, you know what? At least we've built them an interesting place to die. <laughs> and the food is rebounding. I, uh... Oh, boy. This is why you need to look at chat more. I, I end up getting sucked into being in my own head. And uh, this is what happens. This is what happens. We've got the builders that are beavers. <laughs> We've got our autom- We're, We don't even have enough science right now to automate all of our uh, bot assemblers. Otherwise, we could have just an automated colony and call it a day. <laughs> I think you're right there. <laughs> Less hours. Is that going to help? Oh, it will. Because we have our automated beavers grilling potatoes. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Prioritize this and this and this. Oh, boy. What a mess. You think that I'm going to pull through? I don't feel good about it. It feels like we're hovering around 50. And that's with everyone starving. <laughs> uh, but we don't have people dying or beavers dying yet. Oh, 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 I wonder. Are there any of these that I can turn off? Wait, what's the problem there? What is that, that house? It flooded. Why is it flooding? Oh, we've got all of the problems. Uh, okay, let all of the water out. Really? It flooded? I can't see it. Oh, wait, I can. Oh, everything is going wrong all at once. Yes. Every great creator has to force a flood. <laughs> <laughs> uh 90 free beds are now filled so yeah we have over 300 beavers and the consequences are obvious <laughs> i'll drop this down we'll see if that if that solves our flooding problem 175 unemployed beavers oh my goodness oh my goodness Unemployment crisis will be solved soon. We have about 175 beavers to kill. <laughs> but look at it. Our food is going up. Slowly but surely. It's going up. 
Okay. And we're not flooding. So we'll set this to potatoes. This one will be grilled potatoes. And we will build. We'll build another grill. Uh, okay. There. That that's this will be what solves all of our problems. Fooding starving or uh, flooding starving unemployment. Yikes. Yeah. Um you can you can trigger disasters. Just have way too many beavers. Uh let's see. Can we harvest, harvest, harvest? It is plantings there. Oh, we're out of robots. Oh, and I wonder, maybe I just take these and I make, uh, oh, oh, yeah, 2024 right here. here we are. <laughs> also, are you not collecting any of these? Are we, oh, everything's a mess. Yeah, Pooch, you don't want to live here. Uh, it's pretty, but there's no food and you're not ever going to have food again. <laughs> <laughs> not unless your neighbor dies um are there any of these that i can pause to stop it i they're all filled they're all filled oh my goodness the beavers reproduce like beavers and as a result we're screwed <laughs> mm. i can't believe nobody's died i can't believe it in fact I'm going to I'm going to be right back guys. I've got to use the restroom. <laughs> and I'm I'm stressed. I'm I'm a little I'm a little bit stressed. So, we're going to take about a, a 2 minute break and then we'll be back to see if we can pull through this. Um or alternatively, I'm going to do a poll. Um should I let this run while I use the restroom? Yes or no? I'll give you a minute and you can decide if you like chaos or not. If you do, I will let it go on max speed while I'm gone. <laughs> I will save it beforehand. We'll save it right now. I, I just saved it. You guys like chaos. There's a point. Apparently, no access. Uh, no access. Ton potato. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, while the poll's going, you guys can't see what I'm doing, but I've I've added that access and, and sped it up. Uh, stop the count. Oh. Uh. Ozcat Dad, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, so, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are playing Timberborn, and we are currently voting. I was about to walk away for one minute and use the restroom, and we want to know if it's if uh, we are, are safe to keep it running. Banglorious Gaming contributed 89 channel points and wants to keep it going. But I want to know before I go, uh, <laughs> the clouder is here, the clouder is here, the clouder is here, the clouder is here. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Timberborn, we are here. Uh, so, we are going to let this go. But I want to know, how was your stream? Riri, good to see you in here. A clouder is a group of cats. <laughs> I feel like I've learned something now. That's, that's helpful. <laughs> all right. The group of cats is here. Thank you all so much for joining. We are playing Timberborn. I am going to... Uh, put this back on and I'm going to use the restroom because we've been going now at this point for four hours and 15 minutes without stopping. I saved. I'm going to use the restroom and step away and we're going to see if everyone is dead. We have no food. We have 69 food. It's, it's nice. We've got 300 beavers, almost 300, well, 306, including our, our babies and 18 beaver bots. Our goal tonight was 300, but we can't leave without stabilizing the population and giving them a good place to live. 
So we are here until we've accomplished that or until every beaver dies. So I hope we don't experience bad water while I'm gone. <laughs> this is a good place to die. It is a wonderful place. Let me, uh, all right. Raiders. If they live, we are well on our way to building them an absolutely wonderful place to go and swim in the reservoir that we've built. We've, we haven't had bad water since we built this, but we built this excellent channel to get all of our poop water to flow into our poop water river. We've, we've done a lot. We've built a lot. We have an absolutely massive colony and we have no food. So uh, we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. I'm a little bit nervous, but like I said, we're going to run this on high speed. And I am going to disappear for just one moment. Um, and before I do that, I will I will cover my feet. <laughs> yes, you will get the chair. I will I will center the chair. All right, guys, no foot cam. Wish me luck. <laughs>
Okay. I decided I wanted uh, I wanted some tea. I need uh, to not drink beer right now. I need to drink tea. So I got some Blackberry Elderberry Twinnings, which was on the list from uh, two streams ago. We're on a drought, but we got food. We're Our food is improving. So I think the, the, whoa, 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 whoa. We have no water. Oh my goodness. A new problem. Okay. <laughs> I came back just in the nick of time, apparently. Um, hmm. All right. We'll get this. We'll get pumping. We've got uh, plenty of water to pump. And plenty of unemployed beavers to do it. Um, so <laughs> I should retire. The chair went better. I know. Right. Isn't that is it's, it's kind of a damning indictment on, on the way that I'm doing this. Uh, if, if the chair is better than me, uh, maybe, maybe I do need to retire. <laughs> Everyone's doing it right now too. So, you know, I think, okay, let's take a minute. I think a large water pump here over by all of our beavers is probably the winning approach. Oh, that's in the water. That is not a winning approach. Um, all right. I'm going to place it like over here. It's flooded there. Yeah. Basement chair plays. <laughs> um, what I'll do, I'll add a couple of platforms. Uh, what are you guys thinking? Maybe, maybe right here. Seems like a solid spot to put it. Um, I can put the tanks to obtain. Then I won't need pumps right here. So the only reason I want to move the pumps over here is if I suck the water out of right here, even though we've got all this depth, it's going to kill our food. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. And these things will pump out all the water super fast um and even right here i turn these ones on and there's no water in there so it's really just this one we're gonna empty that so quickly so we've got this one but that's yeah so i feel i feel like our real solution is to migrate our big pump. is it three by three okay I wonder. Maybe we'll just do it this way instead. Okay. Water. Large water pump. And then we need a place to store our water. Um, which we, I, we've already put that over here. And did we? Did we? Yeah, it's right there. We don't have enough gears. We'll set this. You said obtain. So we've got that going already. Oh, oh, everything is bad. Room for two? Basically, hasn't room for two what? Need more haulers, more beavers? Yeah, more haulers. Okay. Should clean this up. Ah, oh, no, we shouldn't. We shouldn't clean this up. I want to clean it up, but it's a bad idea. I also never finished any of this. So let's detonate this. Other thing that we've got to do. Um, and you were right. It didn't do what I was hoping. All right. I'm going to place the haulers over here. It's not. Or we'll put them up here. Um, what is that? Oh, district crossing. Okay. Hauling post. I think maybe we'll put one over here. And make it seem like it's kind of the capstone of this area. And one right there as well. Rooftop holder sound like a <laughs> reality show. It kind of does. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, the only problem with this is that to get these things operational, we've got a whole bunch of junk to build. This probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. Um, but it's where I want it long term. 
So I guess we'll just go for it. Don't forget about the builders. You think I need another builder as well? Okay. And the builder actually looks better in the like as a centerpiece. I don't know where to put this yet. So I think temporarily I'll just move it right here. Uh, I need grilled potatoes and a uh, grits mill and also a uh, water barrel scattered from the, uh, around a drink from maybe some pauses, some houses to slow the population. Yeah, Our, we, we, we are beyond that. <laughs> All the homes are full. So if we pause them, I think we have, we have, un, we have unhomed beavers. Yeah. Oh no, you're not. You were right. Now we have one. That's okay. I wonder. I'll do these individual ones. There we go. Three hundred and one beavers with homes. Um. All good. Okay. Uh, oh, good night, Vic. I didn't realize you were living. Good. I uh, have a good one. Have a good one. Okay. Um, and we don't have anything going on here. All right. Well, we'll just there we go. There we go. Because we don't have enough bots for that. Okay. Sid's gonna help us out. Uh, <laughs> good luck. I have population hugs. <laughs> yeah. This is a. Uh, it's it's messy. Honestly, though, it seems it seems like we're going to work our way out of it. It does seem like it's it's going to be fine. Um, I see folks on YouTube asking what game this is. This is Timberborn and uh, NZ all around. Thank you so much for the uh, th for the gifted membership. Appreciate you. And Ulterior Mocha, thank you so much for the tier one resub. Appreciate you. Ian the Wonder Dog. Uh, I, I got you, but I'm going to get, get you again. Thank you. Very low water for our drought, but you think I'm okay with the reservoirs? Yeah. The drought. Oh, I should have I should have raised this. I see what you're saying. Well, we uh, we have nothing that we can do, so we'll just have to go for it. I wonder how long this drought's going to be. Hopefully it's not. I'm sure it's going to be like eight days or something crazy. But we get, we'll get we lower it to one when we have to. And hopefully we'll be okay. The one thing that it's making me think. I really don't want to be pumping water from in here. Uh, if I if I click on the small icon just below the drought bar with one eye, you'll see wavy longs, wavy, wavy lines. Okay, yeah, there we go. I must hit that at one point. That's much better. It's a bug. Okay, there we go. Spam some builder huts at high priority. I should just put this at high priority right here. Uh, I should also look at these other ones over here. Do we run out of robots? That could be, we got a hauler. Okay, and then the hauling post right there. That actually is something I should be looking at. Are there places where I've just turned things down? Um, I don't think there are. I think that was probably just it. Six stage route, yeah. We, I think we can survive that if we can get some pumps going over here. Uh, that's our big problem right now. Uh, will I get more mods for Timberborn at some point? Maybe, but I think next stream we're going to play Stardew Valley with the 1.6 update, so it might be a little while before that. I also uh, want to play some uh, City Skylines too. It's been a little while, so one of these days soon. Games don't have bugs, they have features. <laughs> the gears are lacking now. Yeah, we're, we are going to struggle to produce anything now without uh, our water we've got these but it's it's gonna be slow
Uh, you can also see all the work uh, workplace in one menu by clicking at the top left with the beaver, the beaver with the lines, uh, all right here. Yeah. And we can see that most of the beavers probably have no jobs. <laughs> Holy cow! There's just so many beavers. Um. So we have some of the beavers doing farming, which has worked, but oh man. I'm going to pause it. We're running out of food again. Oh, I really hate to be dropping the floodgate this early. It feels really soon. Um, 16 hour work days to catch up. That's a good idea. So I did that to try to conserve. But at this point, I don't know that it's it, it, it might be hurting us more than it's helping. If only there was a way to prioritize. Uh, here's the thing. We have prioritized. <laughs> the problem is we've just prioritized everything. Although we haven't. We've only prioritized these few things and they're just not happening. Oh, it's killing me. Okay. I got I, the solution. There. High priority, high priority. Even this one medium all right only five days of the drought yeah we're gonna we're gonna hopefully survive we've got we're getting it's getting pretty hairy with our food um pumps not prioritized no i probably should prioritize that i just feel like it's i just feel like it's a bad idea <laughs> Different uh, foods will raise beaver weaknesses. So all kinds of farms would help the workforce. We have most of the foods at this point. In fact, I think the only thing that we're missing. Is there anything that we're missing? No. I think, I think we have everything at this point. The one thing that we should be doing that we're not doing. Because we haven't completely converted over our uh, farms to beavers we aren't using any um any of the beehives yet i guess how how much of a difference do the beehives make oh in storage oh my goodness that was part of the problem oh my goodness Well, that was a dumb problem. Yeah, there goes the food again. We have no water. Everything's a problem. Um, we're almost halfway through our drought. Our, uh, this is a big source of our food, and I just can't seem. Oh, that's the reason why. <laughs> I can't keep the water in there. There we go. I'll just... Send the water that way, and we'll see what happens. Uh, I need both water sources. Since some of those water tanks are empty, maybe switch them to medicine. I, we don't really need medicine right now, though, do we? I guess it couldn't hurt. Uh, there we go. There we go. Um... So at least we have this now. I'll make sure that we've got that maxed out. So we've got the hauler hauling post. Uh, can we do more here with our farms? Oh, that's so weak. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not farming everything that I could be. Hold on. More potatoes. Oh, of course. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as I do that, it goes lower. Um, let's see. Let's let's finish this up. Um, so th what we were trying to do here for anyone who didn't see this is we're trying to irrigate a bit. So we're going to move this over. And 
honestly, I don't think that we really... I mean, the reason that we had this was basically to get down here. There's not really a reason to get down here, so maybe I just leave it. Mm. Just for visual continuity, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i have it there, but we don't really need it. Okay, tough love time. The reservoir is kind of pointless if it's just sitting there. Yeah, I know. Um, okay. Will this help? Or we'll just go all the way down. We got three days left. Fingers crossed. We've got to protect our food. It just doesn't feel like that's going to be enough. That was helpful, Vanglorious. Sometimes you need a kick in the butt. All right. There, our crops are going to make it. And there should be enough water to keep things moving for a while. Oh. I, I kind of just want... I. I think my ultimate goal, uh, if I were just to keep playing this, would be to have the reservoir irrigate this entire area so we could keep farming around the reservoir. Um, but yeah, right now, we don't have that luxury. Still have to finish the potatoes. Yeah, there's still a lot of them here. Um, what are we set to for these? None, no prioritization there. Planting, harvesting. I might set this one to harvest. And we'll prioritize the potato. And hopefully they grab all of those. And I guess the other question is, are we still... We set this to carrots. I wonder if I should just set this to catalyst at this point. You consider a terraforming project in the reservoir, get rid of a bunch, get rid of a bunch of dirt. So what would you, what would you do? Uh, DJ, we are going to do, so I don't think that the chair simulator is going to take all that long, but we're going to do that first. And then we'll do the, uh, after that, we'll do a little bit of GeoGuessr. I want to try my best to balance this. I don't want to leave it dying and we're going to build all the things that we, we set out to build. So if we can balance the food and build what we've built out, what we've set out to build, we'll switch over. Uh, more grist mills? Oh yeah, we have a ton of wheat. Maybe we just need to look at what we have. What's the, oh, the problem is. So part of it is, this is cat. We have cattail flour being made there. So we'll switch this over to wheat. And then hopefully we get some wind. Uh, what are we making here? Cattail crackers. Bread instead. That should help. That should go a long ways. So good catch there. Um, the farmers can also harvest multiple foods, not just one type. True. I think right here we've got a little bit of carrots, but not much. It's just mostly potatoes everywhere. <laughs> Zigster, hey. All those mountains could be extra water volume. What do you mean? Pilot, you got to explain. You got to explain that one. Uh, the chestnuts are full and under grilled as well. You're right. So I switched over one of these grills to potatoes. And now we're basically out of potatoes. So I will switch one of these over. The chestnuts. I wonder though if that is a good use of my beaver box. I don't know how many we actually have. Uh, four hundred. It's not. It's not too bad. Um, it's gonna help for now. Oh boy, just terrible. Uh, I'm gonna unlock this for the beaver bot as well. Uh, not enough beavers. I am tempted to switch that there. Yeah, the food problem is bad. The food problem has been bad. It's it's it feels like it's never going to be good. <laughs> so 
So we could make more grills. Um, we have to get the flour going though. All right. Well, also not harvesting. I mean, like those are good. Why are we not harvesting there? Just hanging out. Is it because they're all starving? More blueberry storage? Well, we're not. We don't even need that because everything is nothing is full. The only thing that we could probably use more storage for is chestnuts. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, I mean, even for grilling, there's nothing to grill. Maybe a couple of chestnuts, but it's not. It's not that we don't. We have a beaver work or a beaver bot working that. Beaver bots and the power power wheels. That that actually that's a great idea. Um, oh. Okay. Well, we'll try this. Um. Hmm. We'll be cool. We'll, we'll, I think, I think, I feel like it's, it's, it looks bad. It looks bad, everybody. Beaver Fight Club. That's what we need. If the beavers could just like fight and get rid of some of the weaker beavers, oops, uh, then we'd be fine. And then, can this, the bots? Oh, only beavers. Okay, whatever. I don't care. We need something happening there. Uh, and now that we're finally through the drought. So we're working on a canal right now. Um, or we were anyway. The problem is... We probably need to dig some of this up. Something like that. So I'll prioritize that as well. Uh, the water, at least, hasn't... We haven't completely killed us ourselves right there. Uh, make sure I remember to manage the floodgates this time. Yes. So this is all the way down. So it should begin to immediately irrigate our fields. So fingers crossed there. Oh, my goodness. The food situation is so bad. Um... One by one canals aren't good. So we, we are going to blast this one. And that's the one part that I could do right now is get rid of that and this. And start to blow these up. And I think we've got plenty of bombs. So we've got that going for us. Um, if it's green right now with barely any water, you don't need to irrigate it. So yeah, I want to bring it deeper in here. Uh, I think it's irrigated from this over here, but this right here isn't doing well. So hopefully if we blast it all the way back, we can get this entire space to be green. You have more luck placing water towers in the middle of your fields versus blasting a canal. I thought they got rid of those. I was I was pretty certain that we talked about that in the last stream and they got they actually got rid of those in game. Cuz I used to do that too. Ah it is. All right. So the canal is the way now. There is no other option. Oh my goodness. It's just not getting any any better. Um the only other thing I can think of is okay i'm thinking that we could grab some of our grist mills and throw them up here and if we were to do that then these would have power what do you guys think I think I'm going to do it. We'll do something like that. It's super weird. 
Um, but I feel like super weird is where we're at. Not the worst idea. I, I mean, with all of the flour that we, or all of the wheat that we have there, it's just so crazy that uh, we can't, we can't use it because we, we're not, we don't, we don't have our grist mills. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's what we'll do. There we there we go. And then maybe we can even have We need to get this going fast though. <laughs> we can even have some of our bakeries over here and make it very efficient. We need storage too. There's a, a whole production chain that we would need over here, but <laughs> They've started departing from hunger. Yeah, we uh we don't have 300 anymore, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, guys, it 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 we we uh we our floodgates are good. We are uh the water's coming through. I guess we could lower this one and maybe this one. That one's good. So yeah, that's not the problem anymore. <laughs> I, I, I really want to raise these up to fill up our reservoir again, but we don't have that luxury. Start to raise them up again. Yeah, we should. Okay. I'm just going to go for it. 1.5. We we should be okay. Oh, my goodness. Look at all of this wheat that is ready to go, and we're not doing anything with it. Oh, my goodness. Um, beaver bot, make bread all day. You would think that the beavers that are hungry would just stop at the field and grab a carrot or berries or something instead of complaining. Yeah, that'd be great. I wish they could look at all these berries that they're just walking by. Is it going to pick some berries? Please pick some berries. Oh my goodness. Um, well, if we could get this thing going. So I'm going to speed this up. Can't remember if we have anything high priority anymore. I don't think that we do. We have medium priority stuff. Um, so yeah, if we have this, that should get us a long way towards it. Uh, recipe, wheat flour. And then we'll build a couple of bakeries. And I, I'm wondering if we can get some beaver bots to take care of this for us. So maybe like right there and right here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, high priority, high priority for the beaver bots. Fingers crossed. It's never enough. You're right. Lots of room near the weed fields. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. These wiggle housing. We should just put them there. That would save us a lot of materials and it'd be a lot faster. I can put one right there. Um, beauty isn't our most important concern right now. <laughs> All right. Um, there is actually a bit of wheat flour, so maybe if that gets done. Um, no, those. Oh, see. So oh, I. Oh. <laughs> so I should have left them where they were. Okay. I'm going to stick to my guns right over here. We'll put them right here. And... Brad Beaver, fast, fast, or Beaver Bot. 
All right. Well, our water and our food are equally bad now. Um, I think they're not pumping water because they're hungry. Yeah, it's all one big district. That's the other thing. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have two districts at this point. <laughs> And I've got to let some water out. Uh, I need some more flower storage, though. Oh, yes. I should just convert this. It's con it's bread right now, but there's no need for that. Uh, do we have? We don't have storage for wheat flour. So there's another issue. So I'm going to build that over here. wheat flour and I'm gonna build a second one I should I, I know I could go with the medium it just felt crowded which is again probably not the best reason for not doing it <laughs> but it is the only reason that I have the only rationale that I have um now okay and those platforms all right everything should be high priority over here uh, flour, not wheat. There I go. Yes. <laughs> Large storage all around. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna... I will add some more somewhere. I just don't know where I want to do it. Maybe we'll just make a storage tower over here <laughs> for the wheat. Um, Honestly, there are worse ideas. That's what we'll do. So there we go. Wheat, wheat. And then we need steps up. Uh, yeah, water is becoming a huge issue. Uh, they're not, I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, we've got, we were building these. They're starting to get closer to completion. But I think we're low on gears as well. Like everything is kind of just falling apart. Even though we have all of our beavers dying. Riri. Uh, oh, hey guy butt. <laughs> Sleep well. <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to see this, hey guy butt. <laughs> Sleep well. <laughs> Another gear workshop. I don't think it's going to help. I think that our we've got a number of them over here. It's just that everything isn't working right right now with because of the food and water shortage. <laughs> I'm just really hoping that we actually get this done soon. We're so close, but it's oh, it's gears still. And materials for these. Oh, I don't have gears because I don't have planks. Are we pausing any of these? No, they're they're not. Um, bot, maybe that helps us. Oh, I need small water storage to spread it around. Okay, I could bite on that. It's Because we have this, we have large storage over here, but again, no gears. So. Here we go. There's a couple of small water storages over here. There's nothing over here right now. And here's where a ton of beavers live. So hopefully that helps. Uh, in these areas, I think all of it's right here. Um, 
and this. I wonder if I just prioritize this by the haulers, if that helps. Help a Ponderosa. Hello, and I'm sorry. <laughs> you are you are seeing the downfall of the beaver civilization. We reached 300, and now it's now we're now we're in a, in a rough spot. Oh, we are treating all of the planks. We have two. Oh, we're full there, so that shouldn't be happening. But truthfully, it's kind of a waste of power for us. So I'm just gonna turn it off. Um, right now, it's in terms of power, we we're way overproduced. But still, yeah, we'll turn it off. It's fine. Uh, we do not have enough uh, robot haulers. We're uh, as far as the robots go, we're actually dropping down in numbers, and we don't have these. Uh, these are not totally high, but mostly high priority. I've put everything to high that I think is absolutely mandatory right now, and yeah, it's 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 a mess. Yes, we're in a post-apocalyptic apocalypse. <laughs> and we still don't have enough science to convert the beavers to be uh, uh, the beaver assemblers to be robots. <laughs> More planning could have avoided this. So the problem is, rather than doing long-range planning for the entire colony, we started... Oh short range planning for small little areas <laughs> and as a result we have ted wallace dying at eight years old i'm sorry ted well being glorious here you are are you going to am i going to are you going to survive that's the real question <laughs> i don't know i don't know Uh, Willowless, I got you in the first the first video. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you for being here for so long. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, classic colony submission. We went too too long. Uh, this may not be six hours. I don't think we're gonna make it there. I think we're gonna die. <laughs> so, and we still have we still have a little bit more to do. But I want to try to balance it out. Once these are built, which is just taking forever. Once these are built, I feel like things are gonna be better. But we have to have these get built. We've also got Danny Friedman over here helping us continue to grind the way over here. So that we're we're making some progress. It's just super slow. Uh, because of you, uh, I now see city planning failures when you travel around. I'm sorry. <laughs> the reason there's no food is uh, too many beavers all at once. Honestly, I should be turning off probably a whole row of housing. We're, we have 23 baby beavers. And we can't support the population that we have right now. Oh, terrible. Terrible. Well, those were easy to turn off, so I'll get those ones. Yeah, only 200. Uh, as opposed to the 300 we had just a little bit ago. The beds are back. Sixty-five. Okay. Where is gonna be the easiest place for me to turn some off? Probably right here. We are gonna play chair simulator, for sure. <laughs> If, if if this the moment I balance this, we're gonna play chair simulator. <laughs> Thirty beds right there. That's a lot better. Twenty six. I feel like we're gonna get there. We'll reach equilibrium before you know it. Is the population of zero balanced? I think so, and we're well on our way. <laughs> okay, ten beds. I will. I will live with that. Good enough. Um. 
Our water's going up. Our food is not. Uh, maybe turn off the robots. I should turn off the robots. Wouldn't I want to keep those on? And as far as the food closer to housing, um, we were trying to store things over here. Unfortunately, we don't have any food. <laughs> turn off the robots to use the resources better. So I switched this over. So these are using catalysts now because we have lots of maple um, and extract. And the extract is bad water. So, I mean, we should be fine. The beaver bots aren't hurting us from a food standpoint. If anything, they're helping. And finally, we're making beaver bots again, slowly. Oh my goodness. The gears are just brutal though. Um, let's see. We have planks. I'm gonna try a thousand science just terrible but we need the gears there we go that should help uh, so maybe replace some of the unharvested wheat with carrots in the short term not a, not a terrible idea although we've got the problem is we've got carrots that aren't going to be picked up either we've got sunflowers that aren't going to be picked up so maybe I just need to go through and set more of these to harvest Um, oh, those are potatoes. Uh, and I guess, yeah. Yeah. Uh, instant karma. <laughs> uh, cam instant chimera. Yes, I will, I will, uh, I will get some, I will, I will get some rest tonight. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've had a lot of fun too. Sometimes having problems makes things interesting and, and, and more fun, so. They're not harvesting because there's nowhere. Okay, okay, hold on. So sunflowers. So the only backup I see is wheat flour is a backup. We've been trying to build the storage for that, but we're not there yet. Um, actually, I never set it for this one, so good reminder. I'm a cruel master making starving beavers run past fields of full food. <laughs> yes. I wonder. I mean, I think that I, I think they're doing what they're supposed to do. The only thing that's being held back now is is all of this wheat. Got tons of wheat. Um, but we're so close to having this done. I'm reluctant to turn it off and switch it over because we're about to just be able to process this all super fast. Uh, and I, I'm, yeah, we'll even switch this over to a beaver bot. They're not harvesting unless they go straight to the processing plant. They're not harvest. Oh. Well, we've got, we've got storage right here. So why isn't it happening? Maybe I prioritize wheat harvesting. Would that help? Lots of fertile land available I could be growing potatoes on. That's true. Okay. So I will do that. Although this, so this area normally stays fairly okay during a drought. So I will plant here as well. And okay, we can actually go a long ways down here. That's impressive. Okay, that should be helpful whenever we get to it. Oh, so many things are high priority, but these should be buildable. Uh, I could put a water pump and make a little irrigation pond near the dry part. We can't do the water dumps anymore, though, can we? Oh, the dump. I see what you're saying. We haven't unlocked those yet. Okay. I will I will give that a shot. Um
You can do a water dump into. Hey, guy, butt. I thought you were going to sleep. <laughs> uh, two by two by three deep point. Okay. So something like that. So that'll be three deep, two by two. We'll put a dump right here. Dump right into there. You can't. <laughs> I am ruining your sleep. Not only am I destroying beaver lives. <laughs> Well, I am very, very sorry. <laughs> I feel like we are making some progress. Um, the water situation is at least starting to resolve itself. I don't know if this has been built over here. That was Maybe that was all of that. We haven't even built these small uh, water tanks that we were talking about earlier. Prioritize those too because obviously have to. Have you been born? I I would assume. You've probably been born and killed multiple times. <laughs> uh, H there you are. Um, why can I not find you? Well, yes, I see you are here. Oh, you're at, you're at home. <laughs> so you are here. Raise the floodgates. Uh, yes, let's take a look. There we go. A little bit higher. Good looking out. Is everyone in there? I see. I appreciate you being here. I, I I think you're doing good things for our little colony. <laughs> Even if it's just chilling out. All right. There we go. Uh, we're going to... They're planting. Good. I think... I will prioritize that because, of course, the dump... I can't place it yet. Okay. Um, Peaches, thank you so much for being here. I didn't, I didn't see you in chat, but thank you. Always great to see you. And uh, thank you. Good. Uh, hopefully, we pull through. We'll see. <laughs> it doesn't feel promising, although we do have this now. Oh, what's going on? We are actually running low on robot beavers. Bummer. That is terrible. Um... Well, I guess we don't use robot beavers then. <laughs> you were hardcore lurking. <laughs> good night. Good night. Uh, good morning in the UK. Watching before work. Thank you for being here so much. Uh, thank you for being here, Jones. 30 unemployed beavers. Yeah, I am I think I'm relying too much on the robots at this point. Uh, so I will take these ones. I just, I really like the idea of them getting all this stuff done. Oh, 24 hours a day working. So we're finally starting to build all this stuff too, which I hope we're not working towards this stuff. <laughs> I'm going to speed up construction on these and maybe that'll completely stabilize our water. Water there, water here. Robots, they steal our jobs uh, and make everything worse like in real life. <laughs> <laughs> all right and now we are going to take hey guy bud's advice and we'll dump water in here and this should be a robot beaver i agree if i can figure out how to make that happen we're gonna do it i'm gonna see how many yeah we had robots working that hauling post. Now they're gone. So there we go. Uh, Sharpless, good morning. None of the bots will work right now because I have zero biofuel. And I'm out of catalyst too? Shoot.
and we really can't spare any. So the catalyst needs maple syrup. Why, why won't that work? So they're all out of fuel. I'm nearing the point of no return. I think you're right. Um, maple syrup and extract. Are we out of extract? We got look at that. We got a bunch of catalysts right there. So the beavers need, they need biofuel. We have the catalyst. So shouldn't they be working still? I'm confused. I'm so confused by that. Catalyst just boosts them. Oh, shoot. I didn't realize. <laughs> All right. I know I shouldn't do this, but we're switching to carrots for our biofuel and we'll see what happens. Um, there we go. We'll dump some water in here and hopefully improve the areas that we can produce carrots in, or potatoes in. And it's probably going to be this entire area. It's not enough. Uh, I may have to make the pond a bit bigger. I can do that. If there's anything we have, it's explosives. We have no food, no water, but we have lots of bombs. <laughs> so we've got that going for us. Um, Pond is fine, just needs a worker. I thought we had a worker. Oh my goodness, we're losing so many beavers at this point. Oh. We even had Wandering Reaper die of hunger. Everyone's dying of hunger. I missed the death wave. I completely missed 50 more beavers, 60 more beavers dying. Uh, 66 open beds now. Yeah. Less mouths to feed. That's true. Unfortunately, we have 160 uh, you know, beavers fighting over one carrot. <laughs> this is sad. This is, this is uh, not the way I thought that this would end, but like I said, lots of explosives. So I guess we have that. <laughs> I I feel like we're at the end right now. It's uh we never really caught quite got to uh recovery. So close, but not there. Turn all that stuff off and get as many people on food as possible. Yeah, I need to prioritize all of the food stuff. Uh, let's see. Bread. Prioritize. Prioritize by haulers. I will turn that off. We don't want that. I'm going to turn off these grist mills. They, uh, I guess they're robot beavers anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, haulers next. So at one point we had the haulers set to low priority. So they were just overflow. There we go. We're, we're trying. Everything is prioritized. What have I done? What kind of a monster have I created right here? Um, Okay. Yeah, every everything isn't working. <laughs> died of hunger, died of hunger. We're we're about to fall below 100, and we have a drought approaching. <laughs> but, boom! Look at that. That's what all we needed. Uh, let's see. High priority for all of these. And we'll plant some more. The funny thing is, we've got all these water pumps now. Not useful. I'm going to stop. Because these are our large water pumps. Having three of them probably isn't helpful at this point. 
It's just spreading our workers out. And also, bad water? Not necessary. Um, except for the extract, but I think we're full. Or mostly full. Um, you watched the bot on YouTube when I was in great shape. What happened? 300 beavers. <laughs> now we are underneath. We are, we are below 100. Oh, this is the saddest way. This to end. Everyone's dying. Um, yeah, I started detailing and decorating. We never finished. We never finished, but we have this. <laughs> this is when everything went haywire. Um, and we were gonna we were gonna build a, a carousel over here. We never got to that. <laughs> there is a trend. I get uh, I get a little bit fixated on the wrong things. App isn't even connected to the pier. Oh my goodness. So we might have built this thing. Had we done that. <laughs> Another thing is how to consider how much time you have your beavers spend walking places instead of working. Yeah. I probably, if I were to do this over again, I think this right here is a second district. As much as I hate the districting system, I think it's totally necessary when you spread out this much. So adding all the beavers over here is probably not as good of an idea as maybe just continuing to concentrate them down here. Um, you had to step away. Uh, it's been bad, Julian. It's been real bad. Everyone's starving. Everyone is dying. We are at the end about to play chair simulator. So, <laughs> and we're about to have a drought. So I think, I think we'll give it a couple more minutes. But reasonably, we're we're about to die. I just wanna I just wanna see the ultimate failure. Cause I need to feel it. I need to feel it. Yes. Salute for the beavers. Are they still dancing? <laughs> uh no. Not a beaver. Not a beaver dancing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we can't go this close to the end. I mean we are at the apocalypse at this point. We can't say I give up that's not right yes <laughs> drop an F for uh, for this playthrough it has not gone to plan but we do have a lot of wheat look at that if only we could just eat raw wheat we'd be totally fine <laughs> such promise such failure um and look at that, we're making Catalyst again, so. I wonder. Do we have any? Uh, or biofuel, no, we don't have any. We don't have any carrots. Oh, well, we tried, we tried. Or finish on a cliffhanger, there is no cliffhanger. <laughs> the cliffhanger is, is there a way to get out of this? Indeed, there is not. <laughs> <laughs> send it to biffa oh my goodness the way to fix this is to blow up everything that we built today flood them i can't even i've built such an elaborate levee system there's no way to flood it the only thing i can flood is this when uh when the water is coming in and what really kills me we spent all this time building this and we've not had any bad water tides I paused all the production except the carrot farmers. The carrot farmers. Are you talking about over here? Yeah, they're still going. We have Benjamin Reynolds over here attempting to do something. Um, do we even have any? Uh, yeah, nothing over here. Grilling potatoes. We had a bot assigned to that, so that wasn't helpful. Um, 24. We're down to 24. Oh, I need to pause everything except... I, got, I, I see what you're saying. Prioritize carrots. 
and harvesting. Oh, there's so many things to turn off. <laughs> Even our district center has no beavers at this point. Don't look at the bottom left. I might save it. All the, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Everyone has died. The real question, Banglorious, we're not coming back, but we do have batches here still. Um, Banglorious, you died. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I have, I have let you down in particular. <laughs> you did die. You were just a baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Yeah, the bots, um, I probably, a while ago, should have prioritized harvesting carrots. What's going on? <laughs> and now my keyboard's even giving up. <laughs> All right, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Uh, they're really a huge bait until really late in the game. I think you're probably right about that. Uh, it seemed like the bots were going to be helpful, and I don't know that they truly did much to help us. It seemed like that's when we started wasting a ton of food. I see you died too. Sorry, I see. Oh, it's, it's 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 been a bad time. The bots are tricky, a tricky balancing act. Get it right, and man, they work great. Yeah. So I think there was a long time there where I basically neglected food storage. And at the end of the last stream, someone pointed out that I really should be looking at uh, balancing things out here. I just never did it. And as a result, we have a baby beaver for real. Russ, you're born and you're going to die immediately. Um, but if I would have focused on that, we had a lot of time there where we had full fields that were just rotting away, basically. So that was the big mistake. And now it seems like we're, we're storing food again. That is frustrating. No, we're not. I just want them all to die at this point. <laughs> as long as I have one baby, you can use another district to do rotating, uh, harvests. You always need more storage. Yes. <laughs> it it has been an RCE playthrough, and I, I I take great pride in that. This we've we've done our best to uh to make RCE proud. Burn it all to the ground. Uh, I mean, at this point, that's kind of where I'm at. So let's go wild. Let's go. Should we just do it? All right. Last poll. Should I delete the original settlement? Yes or no? One minute. It might be gone by the time you, you vote anyway. For Myrtle. And then we'll simulate some chairs. No. Yes. No. Wow. Back and forth. Back and forth. Some of you wanted to see it slowly fail on its own. <laughs> Which the droughts ended. Uh Fortec Gamer on YouTube. I stream on Thursdays uh, around this time every 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 Thursday. Oh my goodness. You guys like this. You guys like this. It is pain. <laughs> I. Oh my goodness. I hate this. I can't believe that it solved itself. Look at this. We have food and water again. I. <laughs> oh, I'm going to save it. It's it. It. I can't. I could fix this. We are not going to fix this today. <laughs> Maybe that is a challenge. This, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. 
I cannot believe this. How did this happen? This was supposed to just disappear. You want this save file, Vanglorious? I will give it to you. I cannot believe this came back to life. Oh my goodness, that kills me. Uh, DJ John Mary, thank you so much for the bits and for the resub, uh, resub uh, four months. Thank you so much. Good morning to you as well. Uh, uh, Ring loves me. Thank you so much for the resub. Uh, Spook, thank you so much for the tier one resub three months. Uh, take some money for the beavers. Let's keep our uh, our furs wet, teeth sharp, and out of bad water. Thank you so much. Uh, Hotsen, thank you so much also for the tier one. Um, Ulterior Mocha, thank you so much for the tier one. Ian the Wonder Dog. Uh, I got you before. I'm going to keep getting you over and over again. And we got a hype train. I don't know why there's a hype train, but <laughs> thank you so much, everybody. Um, yeah, I will, you know what? I'm going to save this and I will put it on. I'll put it on Discord. Anyone who wants it can uh, do it. And you know what? In the next stream, if you guys res resuscitate this, send me back the save by next Thursday and we'll take a look. We'll take a look. So that's something to look forward to after the stream. In the meantime. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was pain. That was so much pain, but it's not dead. It's not dead. <laughs> so uh, thank you all for the hype train. Van Glorious, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, I'm gonna exit to desktop. I might actually just post this immediately so I don't forget. And then we're gonna play. So there are two chair simulators. One of them is super stupid. It is uh, a bunch of streamers that I don't know and it is made for them. And then there's the other one which is actually a game. So we are gonna try that one. But first, let me grab this save. Uh, um, points. Here it is. The magical save for anyone who wants it. It's gonna be underneath Twitch content. Here it is for anyone that loves pain. There you go. It's up there. Anyone who wants it, go do it. If you fix it, save it underneath a new game. Give it to me before the stream and we'll take a look. Um, yeah. <laughs> You're going to load it up in like two hours? Good luck. Good luck. We'll have to see what happens. If anyone can do it. Maybe I'll take a stab at it uh, over the weekend too. We'll have to see. All right chair simulator for this one i think i actually need a controller uh let me i'm gonna change this first of all <laughs> let's see i don't even know if so i'm gonna i have a sneaking suspicion that this game is not going to be uh so it's living chair or lively It is in there, and there are currently 12 people following it. All right. So for those 12 people, we might make their day. They've been looking forward to playing this. Hold on. I'm going to grab my Xbox controller. Because... It actually seems like the controls are considerably easier if you're using a controller. So we're gonna go for it. Um, <laughs> the Jamie channel, yes. If you can if you can save it, that's impressive. And I would say go for it. So this is, this is a lively chair simulator. It's a free to play game and you have to make the chair walk. Now the controls, are very messed up. <laughs> so I, let's see, this is the reason why I wanted to do this is uh, with a controller is I think maybe I could make this walk with a controller, but I played this for all of two minutes. Okay, so these are the back, this is the front. I can scoot over. Oh, oh, I can get back up, I can get back up. <laughs> Um, okay. Gotta str I gotta strategize. 
Maybe it's... Okay, maybe it's this? There it is. That's the movement right there. The March of Doom. Are there abilities? There are abilities. Oh, it's... Okay, the ability is... I can I can kick. Whoa, 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 oh. The ability is not helpful right now. I just need to march forward like a like a, a horse. Okay, and so the way I'm doing this is basically <laughs> And then I'll scoot over a little ways. Yeah, I could I there there are ways to lose this game. And I don't I'm not very graceful. So I don't know how to scoot over. I just, what if I just do this for a while? I just like glitch over to the side. Oh, no, 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 oh. Oh, oh off the side again. Okay. Oh, yes, it is a chair with legs and you can move. It's an inflatable chair. You can fall to your death. And you have abilities. Oh, this rotates. Okay, so that's actually really helpful. Okay, we'll try it. We'll try it again. Okay. Okay, we're walking. We're walking. If we get too far off, I'll use the ability. I kind of, this is making me feel. Okay, there it is. It's making me feel like it's it's waking up rock band and guitar hero me muscle memory. <laughs> I am going to start speed running. I I will become the world record holder for chair simulator. Oh, 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 got too excited. Got too excited and the chair is falling. So we'll scoot back. And there. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this is the dumbest game I've ever played, but I, I kind of dig it. <laughs> Mostly because I don't know that you guys can hear the sound. Which is the right way? Is it X or is it A? This is the goal, enjoy your chair. Okay, we're gonna make it. Faster, faster, faster. Uh, okay, oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness, oh. Oh, oh. we're almost there. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that's probably not very good. Um, you, can, you guys can't hear it, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, for anybody who just got here, I'm sorry for what you were witnessing, but we are going to play this for... I'm going to play one more level. I've got to. Oh, that was a bad choice. It's so close, but it seems so far. <laughs> uh, is this made from one of those machine learning simulators? <laughs> I have no idea. I probably do have the world record because no one else is playing this game. <laughs> But I, I feel like I'm getting better at it. Okay, okay. Quick rotate. Do I like Timberborn or more than... I haven't played enough for this Frontier, truthfully. I, I probably should play more. I meant to. It just never happened. The timing was just weird for me. And I really enjoy Timberborn. I feel like my fingers are broken. <laughs> I I can I can make it. I can make it. Uh go home chair you're drunk. This does feel like a very drunk chair. <laughs> One, two, one, two, one, two. If I do that, I can actually, oh, 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 oh no. Oh, it's getting bad now. You can, you can really move around a lot. <laughs> the breakdancing chairs are the best. 
it's just it, I, if, if the special move wasn't so extreme this would be really easy but that wouldn't be fun uh i wonder if i do these together i'm afraid to use the special because it's okay i can tap it if i tap it it's not so extreme so you played Timberborn for the first time and it feels very, I don't know, water, water flow managing oh, for sure. You'll probably still get hooked. It's, I think that Timberborn is one of those games that the more you understand it, the more you like it and the more addicting it gets. Kind of like this. This is great. <laughs> just gonna keep, if I just tap, there we go. There we go. Your favorite part of Timberborn is trying to guess how the water flow will work. Yeah. Uh, McFuddlebutt, have a good night. Thank you for being here. Okay, okay. If I can make it, we'll go on the Geo Guesser. There it is. I got better at this game. I got better at it. That's good enough for me. <laughs> uh thank you god thank you thank you so much okay there we go that's so if you want to play this it's on steam it's free you can play it yourself and do this if that's what you wanted to <laughs> all right the funny thing is we had that moment and i forgot to hit down i forgot to hit done so uh lively chair simulator didn't get credit super sad <laughs> so give me one more second i think we'll play two rounds of geoguesser and what are you guys thinking tonight where what are we gonna do in geoguesser uh where do you guys want to play uh south america dj always <laughs> australia Earth, Africa, the moon. Uh, Mick Fuddlebutt, thank you so much for the uh, tier one. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, South Pacific. That is, oh, we did talk about dams. Uh, fish knots. I think we got to do that. We got to do that. One, that's one of them. Uh, Wisconsin Dells. <laughs> Australia. You know what? You guys have channel points. Uh, where? We're going to do... We'll do dams once. The other one. Uh, Australia, Europe, South Pacific. Uh, world. Or... I need one more suggestion. One more suggestion. Whatever, whatever comes next. Mars. There it is. All right. So you got one, one minute. You can buy votes if that's what you want to do. Uh, and in the meantime, I will get this, I will get this pulled up. And I don't think, I don't know how many people we have still on Twitch. 258. So we should, we should, uh, join us for GeoGuessr. Drop it on YouTube first. Uh, you gotta get up in three hours. So as much as you like to play, you gotta get some sleep. Good morning. Good evening, everyone. Good night, Mr. Phil. Good night, Summer Song. Thank you so much for being here. Sleep well. Three hours. That's not very much. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully do all right. I'm going to switch this over now and wow it's real close between world and australia super close world one uh but not by much so to be fair uh we'll do three we'll do dams we'll do australia and then we'll do world and i think it's gonna be fun well uh, so that's that that'll be a, that'll be a we'll close out with world so let's see um dams of the world that's where we will start out 
Chris, hello. I will wave back. <laughs> so jump in. Let's go. I'll drop it in both one more time. And we should be able to get a healthy number. I think between the two streams, we've got about 500 of us. So if we can get to 50, that'd be cool. If we get to 30, that's fine too. <laughs> And actually, I fixed my timer. So I will set a one minute timer and just you can just hang out for a second. Lots of dams, good choice. DJ, are you gonna you're gonna crush this one? So I did set a 60 second timer, 45 seconds left. If you want to jump in, jump in now. And we'll play these three rounds. I'll do a one minute in between each of the rounds, too. You're not saying that? <laughs> You're not saying that it's going to be great, but you'll you'll give it a shot. That's where I'm at, too. There's a lot of dams in the Columbia near you. Um, so I mean, there's a lot of dams in the Wisconsin River. I've only lived by one. <laughs> well, probably more than that, but only one that I'm super familiar with. And we got 10 more seconds. I'll drop it in there one more time. Everyone, you get one more shot. And then we're just rolling. And three, two, one. There we go. Rolling with 27 of us. Well, that makes me want to be in top five. Uh, number one is highest in Southern Hemisphere. Do not enter unless authorized. VC Hydro. I feel like that's really helpful. <laughs> so we know it's in Canada, in British Columbia. But where? Beautiful location. The Jamie Chelly might skip it tonight. Got to figure out how hard it would be to record or stream Timberborn for no reason at all. <laughs> well, if you figure it out, let me know. I will uh, definitely shout it up. Railway train. So we're by a train. Uh, Jamie, uh, I would highly recommend uh, Epos Vox. Uh, e Epos Vox. Vox. Uh, and learning about OBS from him. Very, very, very uh, helpful. Uh, we got 34 seconds. So I, I mean, if I can find a place with a river near a populated area, it's probably better than nothing. So maybe I'm going to choose right there. Most likely. Uh, oh, there's signs all over the place. I just missed him. Now I'm turned around. <laughs> we'll go with that. We'll see. You seen that before? It's Earth. You know what? I'll take that. 21 miles is pretty good. And I said fifth place. I am. I'm well within. Zigster. Nice work. 36 kilometers away. Not bad. Zigster first. That's that's impressive. Very impressive. All right. Well, where is that? Is this? Okay. Well, now I know because because we have something that identifiable. Someone's going to figure this out. It's very flat. Uh, visitor Center, Turkey Creek, Marina. I feel like this must be like uh you're a fair bit behind on audio doing it through youtube again oh yeah you're 15 seconds behind <laughs> at a minimum although when i look over youtube's picture is still on the selection screen so i don't know what's going on, on youtube <laughs> but it's 4k oh my goodness does anyone have any ideas It, Coralville Lake Marina? Is that, I just, Louisiana? That's as good a guess as any that I could come up with. I am going to just pick a place in Louisiana and go with you. Ohio was my first guess. You know what? I 
I feel good about that. <laughs> Louisiana was not right. Holy cow. A lot of people got really close. Wow. I cannot believe how close some of you got. Uh, Thrash Potato, nice work. Excellent work. Falling down, but still in top 10. I'll take it. You've got some tech, tech issues and had to leave the game. Zigster. Oh, bummer. Hopefully next time. Australia is tough, though. I will I will readily admit that. Ooh. So are these all U.S.? No, it's not. This doesn't look U.S. Where are we? Um, What language do we have right here? U.S. property. <laughs> I just get done saying it's not all U.S. DJ, you're stuck too? Um, well, maybe I could be helpful if I don't know that I can be. I'm not moving very fast. Falling down is such a great move. Oh, yeah. British. Yeah. Sorry. North America. <laughs> That's the problem. Canada looks so similar. Um, I feel like we're almost to a sign that's going to be useful. Lamb Weston Road. It feels like that used to be a sign. It looks very southwestern to me. Yeah, so yeah, just like just exactly what you said. Um Aberdeen, so we're in Texas. Idaho, wait, wait, wait. Idaho. So I, I, I thought, yeah, I, uh, oh my goodness. It was Idaho. Wait, who got it? Oh my goodness. Is that thrashed potato? Was that you? Holy cow. That is impressive. Uh, yeah. So definitely Idaho, America falls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely the U.S. <laughs> uh, yeah, who are these damn experts? Uh, fifth place, though. This might be the first time I've ever landed where I wanted to land. Okay, this looks like Colorado. I don't even see the dam. Well, that's... That's not okay. <laughs> uh, Caprio, thank you for being here. Have a good night. Looks like looks like Oregon, Oregon, Oregon. I believe Oregon. Yeah, I don't see a dam. Rockies, yeah, it looks like the Rockies. It's also super rural. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. Oregon. I couldn't tell you if we're in Oregon. Okay, here's a sign. Sierra County. This is Northern California. For sure. I wish that you could see counties on uh, Stempy Dam. Logger Campground. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. How far is it by Redding? Maybe I'm going to say it's by Redding. Good enough. Not even close. Trucky. <laughs> that fifth place still final round. God of radio. You're in first. Chris. Second, excellent work. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute, are we in Europe now? We are. That was a curveball. Did not expect that. It felt like this was North America, and now we are. S are we in the UK? I feel like we have to be in the UK. Saxton, that feels very UK. And I saw the left-hand drive, just like you. Yorkshire, yeah. 
We're definitely in the UK. <laughs> it's very pretty wherever we are. What part of the UK now? Um, nothing's giving it away. Resident parking only. That's not helpful. Near Sheffield? Mm. It'd be really helpful if I knew my way around the UK better. <laughs> Sheffield. Well, I know I know I can at least select there. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> that kept me. That kept me in fifth place. This is the best. This is the first time that I've ever actually landed within the realm of where I wanted to be at the end of one of these. So thank you. God of Radio, nice work. Chris Marin, nice work. Raul, nice work. Thrash Potato, fourth place. Excellent, excellent, excellent work. Uh, next one. Onwards and upwards. We are going to play Australia. So. And Canyon Tiger over on YouTube. Knew it. Knew, knew a few of them. Nice work. Uh, I'm going to remove all the inactive players. And Jortman, sixth place. Excellent work. Good game. Good game, everybody. You were in last. <laughs> well, nice work. Got a radio. This is the first time. I well, clearly this one works for you. That one. Uh, we're gonna do Australia this time, though. Um, I'm not feeling quite as good about that. There we go, Australia. And I'm gonna set a timer again, 60 seconds, and we'll go with however many people we have. Australia, let you get in the right. Uh, so, CJ, what's the right mindset? <laughs> oh, crikey. <laughs> the real question, will we get more people for Australia than dams? We've got another 35 seconds to hop in. Australia going to know and hit them? <laughs> Upside down em emojis. I, that's, that is the right mindset. There we go. This is a is it I think this is a good time for Australians too. If I don't if I if I'm not mistaken. Uh what time is it? What time is it in Sydney, Australia? It is 6 p.m. That is a very good time. Gotta get some Maka's run soon. Alright, alright, we're rolling. 33 of us. Let's go. 3 p.m. in Perth. Excellent time. Excellent time. So you guys are... Uh, it's a rational time. Right now, it's 2 a.m. for me. <laughs> All right. Small town. Maybe. Flinders and Coleman. I feel like going down that road was the wrong idea. It's 8 p.m. Uh, across the Tasmania. Uh, Tas Tasma? Tasman? That's a, it's a, it's a rational time to be awake. <laughs> so where do you guys keep your signs? All right, building construction, student car park. I feel like we're on the edge of a community. So I thought maybe we would see some sort of stuff. But it, it feels like now it feels like we're in the middle of it. Uh, you guys are, are keeping it close to your vest, too. No idea where we are. Maybe this will be... Was it a, I thought it was a stadium. No, it's not. It's industrial. Oh! Wega, Wega. What is that? Where is that? Rail tracks. Uh, uh, six seconds. Oh, it's not going to be good. Well, it's not as bad as it could be. Oh, it was not very good. Not very good. Uh, Kaden, nice work. DJ, excellent work. Juan, nice work. 
God of Radio, you're still up there. So, uh, and you you were just a couple points off. How did five thousand? You guys, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, West Coast near Canberra. So that was for the last one, not this one. Funny thing is, I can tell that we're going diff back and forth between different years right now. It seems like anyway. 2020. Where are we? Maybe some sort of airport hangar? Yeah, different years when I said that. Holy cow. What just happened? Uh... So this is a brand new mining operation. Holy cow. Um, Midwest ports. Fremantle. This really gave nothing. I'm gonna say it's over here. We'll have to see what happens. Oh, there's there's Fremantle. It was on the west, but it was Midwest, and I did Southwest. <laughs> right there, there's where it was. Oh, yes, West Coast. It was on the nose, and I just I just missed it. Uh, Chris, nice work. DJ, nice work. Quick re, uh, replies. Excellent work. Banglorious. Fourth. Cool Fantasia, nice work. All right, let's go. Fifth, but still second overall. That's impressive, DJ. That's very impressive. Uh, this one. Cemetery and Crematorium. Uh, Hemet. The question is, is that the name of the community? Or is that the name? This is it. The bus stop. Uh, Hemet. Okay, we're looking. It's got to be a larger city. There's Wega Wega. Oh, that kills me. Now I see it. Uh, Hemet. 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 Brisbane. Okay, here's Brisbane and Hammett. Uh, it's Sydney. You used to live three blocks from here, Brisbane. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Hammett, Hammett, Hammett. Where is it? Oh, uh, oh, that's the cemetery. Oh, shoot. I got tricked. I got totally tricked. Uh, okay, I will, I will bite. I moved it. <laughs> there we go. Woo. I should not have been that close, but I'll take it. I will take it. It got me close to Chris. DJ, first place now. Nice work. Quick replies, second. Cool Fantasia, third. <laughs> nice work. Uh, I can take no credit for that. If you guys would not have been telling me that I need to move it, I would have definitely kept it in Sydney. There are two Manleys in, in chat. Okay. Oh, we're in a... Is it a suburban community or a small town? I can't even tell. It has sidewalks, so I want to say suburb. First National Albany? Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Middle of nowhere.
it's very red. So that makes me think it's in the middle of the country. Uh, I'm going to see if there's a place called Al Albany anywhere. If there is, we had a huge hint. If not, well, then I'm wasting my time. Yeah, it looks like Texas. I'm not going to see Albany on a map that, yeah, I got to be closer. South of Perth, Perth on the coast. I'm taking your word for it. Oh, it's right there. It's actually, you could see it when you're a ways out. Oh, I just need to look more. Yes, south, 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 south. <laughs> you just thought that there were several Albany's in it. Yeah. Should have clicked on Albany, New York. <laughs> I love the way these homes look. They're very colorful. That's not really helping me figure out where they are. But I just want to say that I like wherever we are. <laughs> Although, no sidewalks. It's a knock, in my opinion. Narrow roads, though, which is good. But also, they don't go anywhere. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's something on the side of that building. Gasper and Homes? It's probably not helpful. It is, it is a very nice neighborhood. Is it? I mean, it, it almost, if this were he, in the US, it almost looks like it'd be a gated community, but it's not. Middle of South Australia. <laughs> well, I would be failing this if, completely if it weren't for you guys providing some hints. This is beautiful. Um, well, we'll go for it. I think it's closer to the hills. That's the one thing I can gather. Uh, yeah, there we are, closer to the hills. <laughs> uh, yeah, those brick roadway details are nice. Just super nice. Eighth place. It feels good, even though it means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> cool Fantasia, excellent work. Spook 14th, good, not not bad. DJ, second place, excellent work. Chad, third place, nice work. God of Radio, fourth. Chris Marin, nice work. And, uh, you know, you're trying to get me to say it. Bug. Uh, sixth place in Vanglorious, nice work as well. So, excellent, excellent, excellent. We've got one more. We've got one more. And it's, it's, it's the big one. It's the one that we can all participate in and have an equal opportunity of, of losing. So, world. Yeah, cool Fantasia, excellent work. So this is the last one. I'm gonna set a 60 second timer and then we will roll. So hopefully, let's see if we beat Australia. Uh, still 14th of March for that guy over on YouTube. Oh, there's lots of good guesses. I should be paying attention to YouTube. They, I think they have some good guesses. <laughs> so we got 30. How many do we have for, how many do we have for, uh, for Australia? 33, maybe? You hope we get a bunch of South America. I'm going to give it one more time. 26 seconds. Going to be top five, Jortman. I feel it. I feel it. I'm going to go. I'm going to say top five, too. I don't feel good about that because I feel like this is going to be Europe heavy. And the Europeans just woke up. They've had their, they've had their tea or their coffee. And they're ready to go. All right, we're going. 37. Someone snuck in at the last minute. Asia heavy. Let's go. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, okay. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> um, are you guys seeing anything? 
Okay. Well, I think we might need to uh, reload. <laughs> oh, I could reload. It was me. Okay, we're good. We're good. Mexico. Mexico 37. Okay. Mexico 37. I have no idea where those places are, but we know we have a number. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. 50s, 70s. So it looks like I can't tell the pattern. 37. Cardenas. So it's heading this way down 37. And... 15 seconds. Starts with the P. Where does 37 go? I'm gonna say it's I'm gonna say it's right about here. We're pretty close, I think. Mmm, yes. <laughs> close. Whoa. I don't know what that did. It just okay. It took me to a place on the map. All right. <laughs> well, there we go. That's great. Fourth, I feel good. Juan, nice work, DJ. And uh, Dish Knots, third place, Max, fifth place. Let's do it. Uh, yes, Coastal Mexico. Uh, tip. Where is dot AT? AT. Um, Austria. That's where I was thinking. Austria. Um, sports radar. So we were, there's, was that water? I say like, there can't be a ton of, I mean, Austria's landlocked. So south of Germany. Just south of Journey, outside of Vienna. I mean, you guys know me. If, when in doubt, you go for the biggest city. What, what, plus city. Okay. So here's Vienna, plus city. What number are we on in the highway? What, what is this? What is that? All right. Uh, Wait, wait, 139. Uh, 12 seconds. 12 seconds to find 139. I'm just going to pick there and we'll cross our fingers and hope for the best. Not, not quite, but close. Close enough. I'll take it. 100 miles. It's not bad. Yeah, you did not get this one. Yeah, this one was tough. This one was tough. Max got it, though. Nailed it. Juan, nice work. Uh, God of Radio, Vainglorious. Excellent work. Let's keep going. Round three. I feel like that one, I, you, you think you blundered that one? Dortmund, you uh, did very well. I feel like that one should have been easier. I think I spent too much time in the beginning uh, looking at things I shouldn't have. I am not sure with this one. This is very pretty. Yeah, I I think that this is beautiful. I feel like we've also seen a place like this before. Garbage can. Uh, Astwa? Looks Italian to you? I... I mean, that's English, I think. Uh, that, that, that's, is that normal? Poland, maybe? I am totally, I am stumped. 
I I I'm gonna go. I saw some English. I'm gonna go for no 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 no. I'll go. I'll go. I'll I'll, I'll be influenced. And that was good. <laughs> you know, if you guys said absolutely nothing, I would probably be the worst person at this. But I feel like I get the crumbs of all of our minds, <laughs> which is really helpful. Uh, Max, nice work. Cat, uh, uh, cat chat you. Second place, nice work. Uh, God of Radio, nice work. Chad, nice work. Chris Marin, nice work. Let's do this. Round four. And are we going to stay in Europe or go to Asia? Uh, yes, I think we're in Spain. I, yeah, I'm. Centro Urban Urbano, that is, seems like Spanish. Uh, bar, restaurant. All right, let's keep moving. Save from disaster. Save saved you from disaster. Save me from potential disaster this time around. India or Pakistan? Really? Well, I would be really far off. Cause I was thinking Spain. I don't know where in Spain. It doesn't really. I mean, I still feel Spain. Madrid. Oh, wait, wait, what's on here? What's on here? Garbages. Limpios. Um, South Spain. Yeah, I saw the dot, dot ES. It was very blurry. Well, we are out of time. So we go there. That seems good. <laughs> no, it was Madrid. I uh, went in doubt. Pick the big city, and don't don't just go south of Spain. <laughs> Two hundred sixty nine miles. I'll take it. Uh, uh, cat, 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 chat. You nice work. Chad, nice work. Uh, uh, Kiburk, nice work. And Juan, nice work. DJ, fifth place. Final round. Let's see who ends at the top. Greece. We are in Greece. Is this Athens? I think it is. Uh, okay. Okay. Is this by the... I think we're by the water. Maybe? What if Cyprus? Could be. Uh, yeah, there's, so there is one thing that is making me think not, not Athens in Athens. There was a ton of English, like kind of like a, an amount of English that kind of made me shocked and I don't really see any here. Uh, I'm not thinking Cyprus. But I'm thinking another major city in Greece. Um, iPhone. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Oh, it was Athens. Oh, and I didn't select anything. Oh, that makes me so mad. Oh, that makes me so mad. Oh, I cannot believe that. Um, okay. Well, cool. <laughs> that dropped me to 30th. Um, well, Cat Chat you. Excellent work. First place, Chad. Second place. Excellent work. Uh, Kiburk. 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 Nice work. Third place. Rao, fourth place. Max, fifth place. Got a radio, sixth. DJ, seventh. Chris, eighth. Juan, tenth. 
Uh, Dish Knots, excellent work as well. At or Juan, you were ninth, and uh, Dish Knots, 10th place. Excellent work. Good game, everybody. Uh, not top five. That was that was a good one. I enjoyed that one. Uh, if I would have only followed my own rules, I think it would have been much better. Uh, all of that said, I think, I think we are going to call it a night. But before we leave, before we leave, I want to thank you all so much for being here. I thank you for all the support. I've had a ton of fun, even though we killed all the beavers. Gave a challenge. Remember to hop on over to Discord if you want to grab that save. Uh, we'll load it up. Uh, we'll we'll solicit some saves uh, next week. Uh, probably an hour before stream. I will leave. I'll mark a thread in general chat. And you guys can drop me some saves. Um, Twitch, if we could give everyone on YouTube a heart, I'd appreciate it. And we'll, we'll let them go. We've almost eclipsed our stream from last time. Six hours. 18 minutes <laughs> and then we will uh we will bid them a fond farewell and raid somebody funny thing is now it says we're doing uh lively cha chair simulator of course <laughs> good great <laughs> um so we get the hearts for youtube youtube thank you so much i'm gonna switch the song I've got, to, I've got to play you guys out, right? There we go. Thank you all so much on YouTube. Thank you for being here. Can't wait to see you uh, next time. There is a video that will go live in about six hours. So be sure to check that out. We're going back to Magnolia County. And it's a, it's a spicy one. So enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye, YouTube. And...